Greetings and welcome to Hollow Body. I have been really excited to check this game out on the channel, even more so since I finished playing Silent Hill 2, because it is inspired by, and you'll see this with the graphics and some of the controls, early 2000s survival horror, which is what Silent Hill 2 was. And I thoroughly enjoy playing that game. So I'm in the mood for more of that kind. And I think Hollow Body is going to scratch that itch. Oh, we have to set combat difficulty, casual or intended the intended gameplay experience. See, oh, there's only two options here though. I think I'm gonna go with intended mostly just because of the phrasing of that because I want to experience the game how it's meant to be experienced. So if it gets too difficult, I might switch over to casual, but I don't think it will. We're gonna think positively. In the mid 21st century, a catastrophic incident unfolded along the Western coast of the British Isles. A suspected bioterrorism attack of unknown origins, targeting one of numerous British cities long since plagued by economic hardship and depravity. As panic swept the nation, authorities and private security firms raced against time to evacuate the fortunate few deemed high value citizens to the neighboring city of Aeonis. A sprawling metropolis constructed a Atop, a man-made landmass floated in the expanse of the North Atlantic Ocean. Fearing the unchecked contagion could spread, towering walls were erected around the western cities, sealing them off from the rest of civilization. Weeks of relentless orbital strikes rained down on what were once bustling urban centers, incinerating any vestiges of hope for those abandoned within the quarantine zone. Six long decades have passed since the fall of the Western cities. While many who suffered strive to forget, there are still those fighting for answers and justice. UNRPC research team in the city limits. So, Sasha, time to spill the beans. Huh? What's your trauma? Oh, we're, uh, this is I'm small talk? Sure. <laughs> I've got what you mean. Come on, we've all got one. Signing up with an underfunded group of activists, pushing back against everything those fuckers hang over us. You don't make a call like that without some kind of beef. Personally, mine's pretty vanilla. They took my son. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Really? I'm sorry. Eh, that's public schools for you. Kid fell into the wrong group, got off of the way out. Interesting. Two years ago now. I've heard stories. Yeah, so they hired him or blackmailed him? That, or at least I thought so. Parasites always find a way in. Fill the kids out with lies. Interesting. I'm looking for answers. My mother was one of the kids that moved it out. Her parents weren't so lucky. Out of the I cities, I'm assuming. Screwed up. That much they couldn't hide. I'm just sick of no one being held accountable. Right, hence this team. You wanted to get close. Hey, you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm sorry. Right, so Please keep talking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, hence this team. You wanted to get close. Start at the source and work your way back. Yeah, something like that. Is there something back here? Is he going to yell at me again if I keep going different way. directions? I guess. I guess this is just. Hey, you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. So That's what I get for trying to explore. She passed two months back now. I guess... I guess this is just my way of making sense of that. I'm sorry. It's an all too familiar story. We among friends here. We'll get answers no matter what. I hope so. Make your way to the beach with Charlie. Okay, so I get the feeling that we are new to this team, hence the uh, small talk, although 
opening up about your deepest traumas as to why you're here potentially sacrificing your life isn't most people's idea of small talk. But do I have to go down to the beach? No, okay, I should follow Charlie. I wanted to see if I could explore a little bit. Also, I just, I really love this. I don't know. Low poly environments. I wish I could like dream in this state because I know that you can't really like, there's not a theme park you can go and be in a low poly environment, but it'd be cool to be able to like lucid dream your way into a video game and experience it. Can I see what's in this tent before we go down? Also, I do have tank controls. They are active and I'm getting better every day with them. So I hope you're proud. Um, I say as I mess up the tank controls. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll turn this way and go. So we've got some samples. I don't think I can interact with any of these right now, though. Can I go back this way? I'm trying to get you to turn. All right, let's go. There's some, like, gross bean-looking stuff on the right-hand side of the screen. And I don't have any weapons yet, but I think we're, I think we're still in the world-building section, so... Ooh, there's some bones back there. Are those like leviathan bones? I love it. Love it so far. Oh, oh. Have you ever heard it's rude to phase through somebody like that, dude? I'm the new guy here. Okay. Also, there's some dead fish. Is that from the bioterrorism? I'm gonna go ahead and assume that. Hey, guys. No mark. I said you were talking about you. Had to ask you about something? Yeah, he's, uh, he's not here. I mean, obviously. Mark! Buddy! Got a job to do here! You didn't say anything else? No, he just bailed halfway up the hill. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be around somewhere. Sasha, why don't you check along the beach whilst we finish setting up here? He's probably off taking a dump or something. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I'm on it. Cool. Okay, I wonder if Mark is going to be, because it seems like they're working for a company that they don't necessarily like. I hope Mark isn't going to do something <laughs> to us. We'll see, though. Okay, so I can run. See, there are things that look like bones. I love it so far. Let's check out what this is. It looks like we've got a boat, perhaps an escape at some point. Lady Hearth. Can I... You don't want to go this way? No, there's an invisible wall. Um, it seems older than the rest of the world, though. I'll make note of that in my mind. In my mind notebook. Just don't go but getting yourself lost, too. I will try not to. No promises. That is kind of my brand. <laughs> getting lost. But we should be fine. I'm also going to practice using some of the controls while we can, considering I did the intended gameplay instead of casual. But I don't think it should be too tough. And it's like anything, the more Hello? you do. Mark? Got some more ships here. Should I check down here? Are we going to find Mark's corpse or something, too? This is so cool. Wait, can I actually just go into the ocean? No, it stops me. Dang, you guys are no fun. If I place the bets, I'd say we're probably biologists or something. We're doing some sort of biological research. Especially with the fish and everything. Mark! Hello? Mark, come on, we've got a job to do. As long as you're not dealing with anything, like, super dangerous, too, I feel like having it... Can you just imagine, like, working here and just seeing this every day? I don't know. There's something about the water that's so calming. The sound of the ocean waves, which is why people fall asleep to the <laughs> to soundtracks of it. Oh, I see. I see a break in the wall here. Is this going to be some sort of... Uh, supernatural sci-fi like alien writing we find or, or something that's the vibes that i kind of get anytime i see a big corridor like this built into the rock wall i'm kind of like a uh oh uh 
Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Okay, can you turn? Can you turn? The, the tank controls are just a little bit different than what I'm used to. Can I pick this up? No, you're not gonna see it? I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna switch in the settings and see if it's any different, because I might have activated them or deactivated the tank controls, I can't remember. Okay, wait, I think that's better. I activated them, so they should be active now. I don't know what controls I was playing on before. But now we should be good. Yeah, there we go. Now I got it. Let's go, babe. So he took off his mask. Or something took it off him. <gasps> maybe we should just go. You think maybe we just go? <laughs> oh, but we used a flare. We gotta commit. It's also not letting me run right now. A little claustrophobic. Hello? Ma! You in here? Whoa, there's some bugs. I don't think Mark is making those noises. This is a really stressful first day on the job, guys. You couldn't have given me a a less scary task. Some more bugs crawling around. Vines? Or some Oh god, it's veiny. It's veiny. Is it just gonna keep going? Let's jump in. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Mark, I presume. Are we getting pushed in? Mika's apartment, city of Aeonis, 12 days later. So we don't even get to know. Nick, my guy pulled through. He's got the pass. I love the lighting. You sure you want to do this? She's still out there, Tax. Somewhere, scared and alone. Get it, Meek. You got about 24 hours before the clearance gets flagged. You missed that window, and I got two lost friends. Whoa. My guy's waiting on the east sheet, Borough 7 near the underpass. Once he's flashed the clearance mod on your hover, he'll set you up with some blocker fluid. You'll need to take it when you're about an hour from the city limits. Locker fluid. I'll keep you on Is that contact. for the car? You know as well as me, anything happens out there when you're on your own. This is really cool. Last chance, Meek. You sure this is the right call? She's coming home, Tax. It's really interesting seeing the contrast of the city and the environment we were in. To think that they're in the same, the same universe here. Four hours later. Four hours later of the 12 days? That's what I'm gonna assume. Yeah. Here we go. Is the entire research team missing at this point? I suppose those answers and questions, new questions, will pop up as we play. Warning. Severe weather conditions identified. <laughs> you think? What gave it away? It's kind of cozy. Several also dangerous, but... Sensors are reading concerning levels. That was a rhetorical question, babe. <laughs> I recommend that we establish a safe landing zone with the utmost urgency. It's alright, we will. We're about three miles out from where Sasha was posted. 
You think you can hold on? There is a statistical probability that ignoring these warnings may result in an incident with fatal repercussion. Sorry, I'm unable to process your request. The, the, the root function That's not good. is protected. Whoa. Ad administrator. My vision is glitching too. Do we have some sort of like... Oh no. We've got three miles, three miles to go, but then no way out either, unless we can get this to start working again or find another hover car. I don't know how common those are in this world yet. I woke to the acrid smell of an electrical fire, rain pouring on the cracked windshield of my hover. I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch a signal through the storm. Sasha was out there somewhere. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I'd need an evacuation plan. I had to find a vantage point, someplace high enough to get a signal through my radio, and call for help. There was an apartment light on. There was a light on. This wasn't over. Although I suppose, no, that's my car light, not the street light. System Tax. critical. Tax. Do you copy? I think we're hurt. We're gonna have to find some health. And hopefully some other things. So I don't know yet. I guess I'm gonna move forward. I do want to, I, I, I don't wanna miss anything. I can't run. So I'm awfully slow and until I get something system critical, until I get something to heal me or fight, I think for now we'll just move forward. If I see something really obvious like lying down, obviously I'll pick it up because it could be important. Okay, now we have a flashlight. This is my favorite type of environment. Not necessarily the dystopian, although I do think that that can be very cool, especially in games, but just the rain and this kind of lighting. Also, it's an interesting thing having, there's like raindrops on the screen. Press A to interact with thing, objects that are displayed over here. Um, they're like, oh, a medical repair spray has been left in the back of an ambulance. This is exactly what I needed. Repair spray has been added to inventory. Thank God nanotech doesn't have a shelf life. Nanotech. Um, they're like they're like high definition compared to the low poly environment that we have. Very cool. Also, I already want to cosplay this character. <laughs> I like her little jacket. It's cool because a lot of stuff that's set in the future still has like retro aspects to it. I know that there's a specific name for that kind of aesthetic, like retro futuristic. Is that too on the nose or is it called something else? But where it has aspects of the past, like coming back around, so I don't think it's is that far off from what would happen considering how trends from past decades come back into style but it's interesting. Although retro-futuristic might be that kind of thing where it was like back in the 1940s and 50s what they thought the future would be versus now, uh, it's a bit different. Although even though now we're living in the future, I think we would still fall victim to uh, infusing our own culture or style into it, into what we think the future is going to be like. Oh, do I need to use the... Uh, I need to use the health spray. That's what it's telling me. Then I can probably run. I'm sorry. I'm sitting here talking about aesthetics. So we have items. I do have a gun. Can I equip it? I can. Um, it's going to take me a second to get used to the um, thing. Uh, D-series revolver and then revolver ammo. Can I combine with the revolver? Or not? Um... There's an eyeball in the back staring at me, too. Let's use the repair uh, spray. Here we go. Now I can actually run. Nice. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, how do I aim? There we go. And I think that's to switch targets. 
getting used to getting used to the new thing. Okay, and that's reload. Press that to recenter camera. It can be used uh, to nudge moving cameras. Okay. Let's go through here. See what we got ahead of us. I think it's a bit too early for them to throw enemies at me. But we might be able to pick up some things. What is this? Pick up? <clears throat> Observation report has been added to documents. This paper is covered with rows of numbers and dates. Some lines appear marked with a red X. It seems to be some sort of observation report, po possibly monitoring activities of various residents. But like what kind of activities? Like just their day to day? Can I scroll it all? Oh, Sasha's letter. Mika, honey, you might be, uh, you might want to be sitting down for this one. I took the job. I know how you feel. I care about how you feel, but this is too important to me. I'm losing sleep over this shit. I keep running it through my head over and over, and each time I feel like there's a piece missing. You said you didn't understand, but I don't need you to understand. I just need you to know that this isn't about you and me or some one-way trip. I'm not going there to die. I'm going because I need to know something. The team's all checked out. We've got a way in an afternoon to find something concrete. We'll be in and out before you know it, and this whole thing will be just another job. Please don't hate me. I love you. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm glad that I opened the inventory and that I found that. Um, Cause I didn't realize that she had left us a letter telling us she needed to do, do the job. So that's Sasha and we are playing as Mika. That is what I've got from that. Uh, can I go back this way? I think I can. I don't know yet if there are gonna be little things hidden in all of the different yards. I guess I can just check and see if I can go here. It looks like there's a tree down. My point being that I don't know yet if I'm gonna search every area of the map or just kind of go through it and pick up what I can. I always, always, always try and find everything. Because if you see some of my other playthroughs, I think it adds so much to the story. Because there are little hints and clues that can be environmental storytelling. Can we look at this? See, there's a light on there. And some of the street lamps are on. So there is some vestiges of civilization left. Let's see what's over here. Hello, there's a man. He looks like he's no longer with us, though. Resident Harry Tyndale, date of birth in 2029. He was in civil services and he's deceased from pulmonary embolism. And then there's another thing that's void. Revolver ammo has been added. Thank you for that. Can I uh, interact anymore? I don't think so. The rest is void. What is the other information supposed to be? Are there supposed to be like four living people that we find? It's like there's a thing here. Use. The gate to the parking lot is shut tight. I need to find a way into those apartments anyway. Okay, let's see what we can do. Can we check out something in the car maybe? I don't think so. I see this though. Can I move it? Use. I think she's doing it for us. There's also a big tarp or something there. Should I check out the playground? Let's look in the playground really quick, see if we can find anything here. I'm way too curious. At the very least, we'll treat it as atmosphere. <laughs> okay, and then that's how you do the camera. The readjusting of the camera is a little bit um, difficult for me just because I'm not used to pressing down. Oh, there's these groats. Biological growths and there's some crows or ravens watching us. Or both. <clears throat> Do they run in the same crowds? I don't know. Um, but I'm getting used to it as with, with all of the game controls. So let's go. Let's do it. And go through the window. I don't know if I want to run into people or not. 
Because if there's any people okay. left over here... Time to find a way up to the roof. Sounds good, Mika. Um, they're either going to be infected or probably pissed off <laughs> that they were abandoned in this city. Seek. Various old boxes and empty paint cans. Just junk. Okay, can I go back here? I can pick up. Garter House Register has been added to documents. Is this going to be a map? No. A list of residents found in Garter House. Some names appear to be m uh, a moniker. This document must predate the citizen's EID scheme. Miguel Roy, Kim Lambert, McOut, Dennis, Sully. Whoa. Okay, there's a lot of names. I wasn't expecting this many. Um, Roach, Lisa S. Is there supposed to be a name that I recognize in here? I only know Sasha and Mika right now, so I guess we'll keep that with us in case we need to know names to get in somewhere. Use. Staff only. A storage box with a locked uh, large padlock. Maybe if I find a way to pry it open. So we gotta find a bathtub, maybe. No, there's no time for baths. All right, I'm kind of nervous. I will remember that because I, I never know what's the main story. I have a bad habit of finding the um, main story when I'm trying to search for secrets. What is this? Seek? We used to be happy. We as a society, you mean? Or specifically the people in the apartment? The lock is blocked with some kind of expanding foam. Was there a red light in the back there too? Okay, we're gonna go upstairs and see if we can get in here maybe looks promising the gate is locked tight there's a door seek it won't budge i hear footsteps or is that the thunder it won't budge okay up to the next floor then i forgot i why did i turn off the light i think it was because i was trying to figure out how to um <laughs> I was like, why is it getting so much darker? It won't budge. I was trying to figure out um, how to readjust my camera. And they're like similar buttons, just the left or the right. All right, I don't think I can get into any of these places unless I have a crowbar. 22. Okay. Let's go in the bathroom first. I think I hear water dripping. I don't think those are footsteps. I'd love to wash my hands, but there's no water. Not that I trust the water anyway. Yeah, why don't we have a mask on or anything? Bathtubs are so weird. I can't believe people used to just sit in them and expect to come out clean. I don't know. I, don't, I think it's more of a relaxing thing, Mika. More packing boxes. I guess whoever lived here never got the chance to leave. Like, I think m most people shower when they need to get clean, but then baths are just kind of like a... They're just like a luxury. <laughs> you just soak. And it also can make your muscles feel better. Are you sore fighting in the apocalypse? It's a pretty generic picture, just a wash of colors. Looks like something you'd find in a hotel room. It might have been decor that was placed here uh, by the land landlord. This looks like an older TV. Looks kind of cool, though. It looks like a TV that they would sell as a retro TV, but it was really just like a flat screen on the front. Like, there's no use for the box in the back. <laughs> it's just there for the aesthetic. Just trash and dirty plates, I'm not cleaning it. Don't worry, babe, I wasn't going to ask you to. Okay, I'm a little nervous, I can't adjust my camera. Whoa! There's something pierced through their stomach. I guess they got the wrong side of some, uh, on the wrong side of someone with nothing to lose. I guess so. Uh, okay, you see something there? They're looking at the things that I can look at, which is nice. Is there going to be anything else, though? I think that's the only thing I could interact with there. Seek? That's a lot of blood. Well, I think getting stabbed through the chest does that to you. Revolver ammo. Nice. All right. Is that it for this apartment? It feels like it. Wait, was that... Was I already in there? I think it was. That was the kitchen, right? Yeah. Let's check out... Do I have a map? No, that's my quick. Oh, wait. I do have a map. Oh, it's fancy, though. Okay, so I've been through that door. It doesn't really tell me where I had gone, though. Can I, um, rotate? 
Zoom. Oh, that's Zoom. Rotate is there. Oh, cool. Okay, it looks like there's a way forward that way. Is that the way I'm supposed to go? There's a lot of apartments here. Um, okay. We'll close out of that for now. So that what did I do to get that open again? Uh, the top button. So there's the map. I'm assuming the left is going to be melee, right is going to be the other weapon, and then that's going to be... Ah, quick turn? Okay, cool. Wait, what are you looking at? This? It's an old video phone. These things are practically antiques now. A video phone? Like, for video messages? Okay, cool. Let's keep going. I think it said liars graffiti on the other side there. Store shut. 23. Shut with an electric lock. And then these are boarded up. Still might as well check them. Just some old trash. Okay, let's go then. Oops, sorry. I don't want to make anybody motion sick. I think the quick turn would be a nice, um, nice thing though. We'll see. Not that I want things to quick turn from, because that normally means something is chasing after you. But I feel kind of s safe. Spoke too soon. For sure. It's barred shut. Is there, is this a garage? How is this on the second floor? I suppose we are living in the future though. Could be like a car park. That'd be cool, actually. Except I don't know why you would need the garage there to get the car into the thing. Rather not risk catching something. That is so fair. Couldn't pay me to take a bath in this place. Oh, again! To finish my train of thought before, why don't you have a mask, babe? <laughs> is it not airborne? Whatever the, the thing was? Oh my god. We don't have anything to say about this. Catherine Dowell. Uh, date of birth. We don't have a date of death or an estimation. Although acute dehydration, deceased. Are you sure? It was acute dehydration? <laughs> that was like, that looks a lot worse <laughs> than that. Just me? All right, we can't get out anywhere. Um, and then those just look like candles. Gonna run into any other corpses. That one was a lot more recent than the skeleton, the skeletal remains we found. Seek? It's filthy, no way I'd sleep in something like that. Um, it looks like a radio, perhaps? And then a light. This feels important. Is this gonna teach us something? Why is the light here? Doesn't it? It feels like it's like some sort of supernatural thing telling me that there's something. Nothing useful, just some clothes. Okay, well then I go here. I hate to think how long it's been since those sheets were washed. Okay. Maybe the light doesn't mean anything. I feel like it would though, right? Ah, oh, there's a key on the floor down below. I can see right through to the ground floor. There's something on the table. I can't reach it with my bare hands. Let me look at the map really quick. Um, because I want to know what we're in uh, it doesn't really tell me what room we're in, does it? Or am I just not seeing it? But it's at the end of this hallway. So we turn when we go down here and then it's at the end on the left hand side of the hallway. Oh, I see now the doors are a little bit more red. Okay. The doors are a little bit more red than they were. And then we have three more doors to check on this floor and then we'll see where to go. I'm assuming that maybe we're gonna have to drop down or maybe that's just telling us that there's a room specifically we need to find. Let's go down with a flickering light. I don't know yet how much of this is going to be like... If there's going to be any ghosts in it. I think, obviously, there's like the biological aspect. You have to be pretty short to lie down comfortably in one of those things. <laughs> Showers just make so much more sense. Well, yeah, there's a difference between a bathtub that's like a, for baths and then one that's just like for those little showers. It's clogged with something I'd rather not think about. Hair, maybe? 
Uh, I hear buzzing. See, there's a light here again. This feels like something. I don't know what that's telling me, though. Newspaper article has been added to documents. Social enrichment charity Sherwood announces monumental investment to revamp Barnson's infrastructure and economy. This is from November 16th. Barnson, November 19th. 2063, and a groundbreaking move set to redefine Bardston's landscape. Sherwood, a philanthropic organization, has declared plans for a transformative investment aimed at revitalizing the city's infrastructure. The initiative aims to usher in a new era of prosperity, promising job opportunities and modern transit systems in a city marred by economic struggles and social challenges. In a statement released by Sherwood CEO Sarah Reynolds, the organization expressed its commitment to fostering positive change. We believe that every community deserves the chance to thrive. Our investment in Bardston aims to create a sustainable and vibrant future for its residents by addressing the systematic issues that have held the city back for far too long. The announcement sparked enthusiasm among residents, businesses, and officials. Mayor Robert Thompson hailed it as a turning point, welcoming Sherwood's commitment and the transformative potential. Sherwood's plan not only underscores their dedication to social welfare, but also highlights the potential for private entities to play a pivotal role in uplifting communities facing socioeconomic challenges. As plans unfold, anticipation mounts for the monumental changes that lie ahead for the city of Barnston. For inquiries uh, or statements regarding the ongoing project, please contact Sherwood Estate Management LLTD or LT. <laughs> LTD uh, at info at SherwoodEstateManagement.com. Written by Amhit uh, Amit Lal, contributing writer. I don't know if those specific details are going to matter in the long run or if they're just there. Interesting. So that kind of tells us a little bit of what was in the very start. I kind of want to go out here first, even though it feels semi important. God, isn't this cool? I love rain. I probably said that phrase uh, a thousand times <laughs> just on the channel, but I really do. It's just so cozy. And when it's not cozy, it can just add add to the add to the melancholy. I feel like rain to me, I see it always described as like uh, it, use in storytelling oh, for sadness. What's in here? But I think it's also, it can also be very nostalgic. It can feel nostal like nostalgia. Just some old trash. Okay, what do you see? Oh God. Was he playing VR or something? Resident Thurston M, unemployed. He was deceased pancreatic necrosis. Oh, did he, OD he OD'd. The key card is grasped in the body's hand. It's for 23. Take the room key. Yes. Okay. It looks like he was playing VR. There's nothing left but the sorry corpse of an addict. Damn. Do the lights flicker where the corpses are? You know what? That would be so freaking cool if there was like a supernatural element to the uh, biological um, like, like there's some sort of virus or something that uh, enhances the soul and creates spirits in some way, or like like uh, tunnels in that energy into being supernatural. I think that's a cool sci-fi concept. Okay, which way do I go? I think I need to go this way. All right. Uh, we'll check the bathroom first. We got a little thing going here. Yes, finally some health. I actually prefer um, having a lot of health than having a lot of weaponry. Uh, I'd kill for a shower right now, but this one smells like death. Okay. Uh, let's go back this way. If we make it to the ocean, you can just, like, hop in there for a minute. Although you might feel grimy after it. Oh, what's that? Select co-tack from inventory and use. Uh, this. Use. Hello? Am I finally getting a signal, or is this... <gasps> Babe, are you sure you're all right? You've not touched your dinner. I just... I'm not hungry. Did you guys eat after work? Or... I'm, I'm not hungry. Oh, come on. You didn't take your lunch with you today. You have to eat something. Get out.
Damn. Occupational hazard, I got an achievement. Find the second signal. Did I miss the first? Seek, just useless junk? Or is it on another like level or something? Um, so that's interesting. One, it makes me think that potentially like starvation or uh, there was somebody who died from acute dehydration. Sink is filled with old plates. In one of the other apartments. I'm wondering if that's part of, like, the infection. Or... I'm saying that there's an infection. All they said in the thing was that there was a biological warfare. I guess I'm assuming that because of the guy that we had seen in the first... Uh, the very first scene with Sasha. Who Sasha was looking for. Mark. More death. So many of these people didn't make it out. Um, it's interesting to see the varying... The K states too. Oh no, I didn't. We don't need to. We don't need to linger on this. <laughs> if there's anything else? Uh, seek something back here. Just some old trash. All right, let's go. Wait a second. Are the places? Is it going to tell me every time? Seek. It's full of old clothes and useless junk. Let me see if I can take out the radio and use it right here. This is too strong. I can't find a signal. Okay, I was wondering if it was where the lights were flickering. Because the other light is is here. Who's playing the who's paying the electric bill in the apartment complex? <laughs> um, anyway. So that's that for that apartment. Give us more information about maybe what had happened here, but Maybe that uh, supports my theory for it being, having some sort of supernatural aspect to it. It's like, otherwise, why would we be able to hear uh, past conversations? Other than ob the obvious, like, in-game reason. But I guess we'll have to figure out, too, if... Have I been in the store? Is this always open? You were looking at it. Is this the one with the lady on the couch? I think it is, right? No, this is the one with the outdoors. But I guess it depends on actually if Mika can hear what we're listening to there or not. I keep feeling like I'm hearing somebody walking, but I think it's just water dripping. I think they're just making me paranoid and I'm going down the wrong way. My bad. Remember how I said getting lost is kind of like part of me? <laughs> it's a part of who I am, okay? It's inherent. I can try and train it out, but at the end of the day, it's just... It's just written in my biology. Um, and I can't go upstairs. So I needed the key. Maybe the key use? Use? There's no power running to the elevator. Okay, that's what I thought. Let me go down a floor and see if I can get in there somehow. Although I think that I need... Gate is locked tight. Can I use the key that I got? So the key is for 2.3. I've got no use for that here. So I think I gotta figure something out. Maybe I missed something out in the other world. I'm gonna go back out here uh, in the city and see, one, if I missed something, like one of the signals, but then also a crowbar, because I feel like I might have. Whoa! I think this place is haunted. I was trying to search around for the radio signal. Can I do this? Use. Is too strong. I can't find Why would you signal. do that to me? Is that because I was running around it? Oh my God, is that you? Or is that that it's haunted? Are these gonna start moving now? Well, I did that, okay, and now I'm stuck. Hey, wow, we're so close. <laughs> Whoa, I just realized this is like a transformer. It's like a whole transformer thing. Robot. An old industrial mech sits lifeless, collapsed into a residential building. I'm assuming use. Um, oh, and look at the thing in the back. The bridge that's collapsed. Crazy. I think 
one of the things about seeing architecture like that that has is just so almost menacing on its own be broken down almost emphasizes how incredible it is that we can even build things like that as like itsy bitsy humans. Oh, I can inspect this though. Seek. What is this stuff? Looks like it's reaching for something. Maybe somebody died in the car and then they became that mass of flesh. Like it's not reaching for something, but it's reaching out. Does that makes sense. Can I look at this? I can. That stuff has completely consumed this old car. <coughs> Maybe it's something along the lines of, oh, I see something red back there. Maybe it's something where it's like the biology is claiming and eating through some of the like metal technology as well, which is why the mech is sitting lifeless. I mean, obviously too, there are regular things like rust and everything that can affect it, but telling me to stop you, yeah. this sign can't stop me. What did that even say? Kotec? Wait, hold on. Where? Where's the Kotec? Can I just open it up now? I can! Here we go! What do you think you're doing? My husband has work in the morning! It's just a precaution, ma'am. All residents are advised to stay in their homes until further notice. Ooh, there's a weird echo. You have no right to tell us what to do. Just wait till my man hears about this. Ma'am, we understand the inconvenience, but failure to comply with results in a blacklist for you and your family. You shut your blacklist! Let me through! Come on! Mom, state regulation requires you to be compliant in any and all mandated. Okay, that's the first signal. I kind of like that it tells you what's the first and second so that you know if you've missed one um, with the achievements. Can I see? The road's been blocked off by an old supply lorry. I should focus on finding somewhere high enough to get a signal. Okay, so um, I feel good that I found that. I'm not sure that there's going to be a crowbar out in the open here because I don't think that I would be able to just miss it like that. But I'm glad I went back and found that anyways because it kind of gave us an idea of what was going on um, when the, uh, I don't know if it's even the government or the business, the nanotech uh, started preventing people from leaving this, this area. It's interesting too, because the wall is right here. So the interference, we crashed literally right outside the wall. I'm assuming that's what this big structure is, um, considering where the, the road stops. I just realized the number 2.3, what my problem is. Uh, I picked up a room key and I was thinking we're in the British Isles and the second floor is not like the first floor is not the the ground floor. It's like ground floor one, two. So I was thinking I was on the third floor. Sorry, American brain working. <laughs> so let's do this. Um, use. It is unlocked. Let's go. Um, it won't budge, and it looks like we're going to be dropping down a floor to the first floor. So let's do that. Floor's collapsed into the room below. Jump down. I don't have any other options, so... <gasps> Is that a missile? There's a... There's a missile? You just jumped down into it? Are you kidding me? A missile lies dormant, buried underneath the rubble. Is it active? I don't want to wait around to find out. What the hell was that? A phone? Hello? Uh, hello? Is, uh, is anyone there? Prank calling even Shut during the apocalypse? The I'm sorry, who is this? Patience, baby bird. It has barely spread your wings. How are you... How is this line still active? 
Maybe it's not. Why are you talking like that? This is my home. This was always my home. Right. Layers upon layers. Concrete and bitter. Sickness still there. Yeah, this is a waste of my time. <laughs> Watch out for the strays. They haven't had a proper meal in weeks. Great. Creepy fucking robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a save. Damn. Okay. Damn. Okay, cool. Um, and there's something in the toilet. Yes, a radiator appears to be damaged, barely hanging on the wall. Remove the radiator? Sure. Unless something's gonna be like crawling through it now. Remove, use. This wall is water damaged, exposing the plasterboard behind. I might be able to break through it with the right tool. So I'm assuming that I'm gonna find it in here because otherwise, <laughs> how are we gonna get out? We're gonna get out. So the phones, I think, are gonna be our save slots. I'm gonna try and save as often as possible. So there's still the miss. We could use the missile. I'm gonna just like throw it at the wall, see what happens. You might not live to see the result, but uh, you know. <laughs> All right. Haunted stuffed animal, excuse me? Pick up, child's drawing has been added to documents. If I was a bazillionaire, I would buy mommy a new daddy and get pizza every day. Oh god. Okay. Is there anything else here? Resident? Where? Charlie? Oh my god. Aspiration... Uh, aspiration pneumonia. I don't even see. I don't think I want to see, though. I don't think I want to see that. It's filthy, no way I sleep in something like that. You think I'm asking you to, <laughs> to like use the items in that way, but it's just not, I'm not, it says help down at the bottom in red. Got a hammer. Is this gonna be my first melee, melee weapon? A hammer lies embedded in the family portrait. Take the claw hammer, yes. Okay, should I, I should set that up as my thing because I don't want to waste bullets. Uh, so let's do that. Claw hammer. Uh, use. I've got no use for that here. Oh, I can't use it as a melee. I thought maybe I could. Um, but I think we're just gonna have to use it here. So, is there ghosts? There must be. Or maybe it's a hallucination. <gasps> maybe they're hallucinations. Hmm. All right. Uh, use the hammer. I only have one thing for health, but I did just save, so it's not... Not gonna be that bad, hopefully. Let's go through. Alright. Where is our first... What did she call them? Stray? Where's our first stray that we're gonna run into? We can go through this door. somebody bathtub uh there's something at the bottom is that what you just said a pool of stale water sits at the bottom of the tub okay, and then there's the radiator again i think i can do anything here seek i'd love to wash my hands but i can't All right, we gotta be brave. We're just gonna run into the, the face of danger, right? Seek. It's filled with old rubbish bags. The smell is revolting. What is that noise? There's nothing here. What is that noise? A small child's bed. Various toys and posters decorate the room. Either the left in a hurry or... The other option, seek. What is this now? 
It's my old child's bed. Didn't realize there was going to be another room. This is where the parents slept. I wonder what happened to them. I hope they got out. I hope so too, but I'm starting to see a more clear picture painted for us as to exactly uh, what's going on here. Okay, there's nothing else for me to pick up. Is there? No. Now when I leave, are you gonna jump scare me? Is it across the wall? It's gotta be in the other room. Wait, also there's this. It's like t t torn, torn away. So it's just there to make you paranoid? Isn't that the hallway though? I don't know. Somebody's playing basketball in the other room. Resident Sean Booley, um, deceased myocardial in, in, uh, Farction? It looks like there's a needle down there. A portable cell battery sits, uh, wired to a broken diagnostics device. Take the portable battery? Sure. Uh, never know when you're gonna need it. Are these explosives? Devices damaged beyond repair. Um, it says pick up, though. Do you not want to pick up the needle or whatever that is? Okay. Door is shut. Can't get into that one. I think the ones with the red locks, obviously. Wait, this was the room next to me, though. That was the room I was just in. I'm still gonna check these doors so that on the map I know that they're completely... shut off. I think that's the way to the stairway. So instead of that, let's go here. So I can get some health. Or no, this is the stairway, isn't it? The gate is locked tight. I'm gonna have to get... I still need to get a crowbar for the thing downstairs. The door is sh uh, shut. Because I think that once I open that, it's gonna open up a pathway to me for... Oh, maybe it'll be like an elevator key? But I think we gotta get up to the roof. Because we gotta get to a higher place to talk to Tax. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see, girl? See, she's looking. Every time uh, she looks, I try and pick up because there's probably something that I... That's like the your little clue, I think, anytime there's um, something. Except the health things kind of glow as well. Oh no, it's on the other side here, isn't it? <sighs> They're knocking on the door. Do we want to go down there yet? see something there. Boarded shut, won't move. It looks like I'm gonna have to do that with a crowbar, though. I gotta face my first enemy before you give me a crowbar, don't I? No? Oh, those are pro- Oh, okay. Alright, let's go into 19 first. It's very dark. And it looks like there's spores. Oh, yeah, this is- this is, uh, so somewhat had a rough night. <laughs> At least the bathtub's clean, comparatively, anyway. What, to the rest of the apartment? The rest of the world? This is the least appetizing apartment. See, there's all these red lights everywhere that are glowing. Maybe it's a uh, hive mind as well. One of my favorite theories for anything sci-fi is that stuff coming from outside. It spreads like mold. Jeez, I hope it's not airborne. Well, I, I hate to break it to you, but I do see spores. So is that stuff coming from outside? Oh, I see a corpse in the back. Is that a corpse? Looks like a hand. Yeah. All the cupboards have been stripped bare. They cut off the city and left all these people to starve. Someone needs answers for this. Um, but it seemed like two to me. I'm still holding on to the fact that there might be um, starvation in the infection or whatever is going on here. Pile of trash. Uh, whatever was, like, affecting the humans. It's all over the walls. And it sounds like somebody's outside. Uh, are those bullets? No. The bullets would be shining for me. It would be glowing, if that was the case. Is it time to face our fears? I think so. Okay. And then we'll come back and I'll remember that this is here. There was one next to the portable battery, too. I'm just gonna run. Door is boarded shut. I think I found the source of the banging. 
Double back? Ugh, of course. Yeah, I know, I know. You don't have to remind me. It's locked tight. There's no way to open it. <sighs> I'm nervous. It's a melee weapon, though. Use. An old wooden bat pierced with rusty nails embedded in the door. Take the makeshift club. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. Um, also because the first enemy can't be that bad, right? Left to hold lo uh, lock on. Um, no target stomp. Wait, hold on. Right? Oh god! I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready. Why'd you just do that to me? Why'd you just open randomly? There's somebody like giggle crying. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I think they're in the bedroom. Big TV? You don't care about any of this, do you? Doctor of Medicine, Helen Bridges. University diploma hangs on the wall. Awarded at the University of Kingsbury to Helen Bridges a degree in the Doctor of Medicine. Is that supposed to be a hint as to why she's in there crying? Repair spray? Okay, hold on. So that's a non-target stomp. That's still my run. Oh god, I'm so scared. Okay. It's gonna teach me how to do it. It's gonna teach me how to do it. Right? A letter from the First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient details. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth, 4th of October 2025. Damn. Can I pick it up at all? No. So she was infected by a patient? Alright. We're facing our fears. Oh, so, wait, that looks, Helen looks, <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my god, where's your torso? Hold on. Okay, got you, again, what is on your wrists? Was she a medical patient? Is that why there's stuff on the wrists? Okay, it's definitely zombies, because she was eating. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. No, I don't need you to stomp. I don't need you to stomp. What are you spewing at me? Oh, system critical. Okay, don't pause. Hold on. Um, all right. You know what? We're going to equip the revolver. Oh, crap. No, I died. I died. I died. That's what I get for doing. That's what I get for doing the thing. All right, we're not going to do a new game. I saved so long ago, though. Damn it. Oh, this is going to be tough. Oh, that's how you do that. Okay, so you can stomp these. And then I picked up some revolver ammo. So I don't even need a I don't even need a thing for that. Okay. I'm going back and getting the stuff that I missed and then I'm going to save before we even go to the lady cuz I I missed a lot of stuff. Okay, Mika and I are officially prepared, so I'm going to grab this melee weapon. I actually am going to start with it cuz I want to practice using it. But I picked up, I think, like, 12 more bullets in the halls by stomping on the boxes that we found. So I am going to try and switch to it. The door is shut with an electronic lock. Yeah, but watch this, baby. I think that's just meant to scare you, and it does. Did I find anything in here, by the way? You know what? Let's just, let's just get her uh, thing out of the way. I know I picked up, we looked at the, okay, I'm going to get her thing out of the way because if I, if I, if she's done, then we could, I can go back and pick up the documents that I need to. <laughs> this is so creepy. The giggling really adds to it. <laughs> what are on her wrists? Are those just growths? I think those are just growths. They don't even look human. Okay, go closer. No, no, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Okay, system critical. Time to use the item. Uh, use. I only have one of them, but pause for a second. Item. Oh my god, it immediately starts me again. And we're gonna switch over to the revolver. And then immediately. Oh god. Oh god. Are you done? 
How many bullets did I use? I used six bullets. I gotta be real careful. Um, it's interesting because... Okay, so I only have 12 bullets yet left. Oh god, if I run into any other creatures, though. Um, let's go ahead and just switch to our melee. It's interesting, it still had the melee there. Uh, but I don't think you could use both at the same time. I feel kind of bad for... I think it was Helen, right? What do we have here? 30th birthday. A young woman celebrating a birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. It's filthy. No, I'd, I'd sleep in something like that. And then some more pictures. Three girls at a university at graduation. One of them appears to be heavily pregnant. I bet that was Helen. Don't tell me. Wait. No, because she had the kid. She had the kid in the picture. But still, where is the kid now? Okay. Personal safe is mounted on the wall. Graduation. Ah, we got to figure out the graduation. So it was before her 30th birthday. Um, do we have it on the wall? This thing? Uh, university diploma. Doctorate of medicine. Yes, but what... What day? What date do we have? Patient details, 4th of October, 2025. Oh, Helen Bridges, date of birth, 2025. Occupation, OT, deceased. Oh, wait. Oh, so her 30th birthday. Hold on, I got it. So 20, uh, 2055, maybe? Let's try that. 2055? No. 2049? Can't be more than three or four years old. So she was 30 when she was celebrating. So it could be 20, 50, 6, 7, 8, 9, those things. I like that it doesn't just give you a date. Um, 2056. It's around this time. I know that much. 2052. That's the date. Okay. I was thinking maybe I had to do like a month or something, but it was 2052. Large metal key. Take the key. Yes. Long key has been added to inventory. Long key. Is that going to be... Okay, that could either be down below, but I think it's more likely that it's going to be to get me out of this floor. Is something coming after me? I need more health if something's going to be coming after me. Because it makes me really nervous. It sounded like something was breathing over there. Is that just part of the ambiance? Can that not be part of the ambiance? So how do I get out of here? I gotta get back down to that one. So I need to go out of here and go to her right and then turn right again and then turn right again. Unless there's another, but all of these have electronic doors and I didn't pick up an electronic key. So yeah. All right, here we go. Let's fix our viewpoint in case they throw anybody else at me. Now that they've introduced the enemy, which is really, uh, um, 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 oh, I can't waste bullets though, can I? Oh, damn it, this is so stressful. I guess that's the point of survival horror though, right? How close do I have to actually be to you? Okay. Baby, I didn't say. Baby, I didn't save. I didn't save. How many hits do I have to get in? Oh my god, there's more of you. There's more of you. Time to run. Time to run. Time to run. Ah, 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 ah. I didn't save. I'm not near a save. I'm not near a save. I'm not near a save. I just need a second to breathe. God, that was like 10 hits and they still didn't go down. So I really, um, maybe I just run past them. We're just gonna run past him, babe, okay? Not every monster needs to go down swinging. Away from them, away from them. They go slow, they go slow. Ah! 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 The gate is locked tight! Okay, okay. Use. Go. <sighs> Thank God. And the gate is closed behind me. Was that door always open or closed? See, I gotta get a way to save, though. And people are... Oh, yeah, they're behind me. 
So, uh, can you get through the gate? Can I hit you from here? I don't think I can. God, that's so creepy. Okay, what am I even doing now? Do I have to use this to open up? That seems, I think I need a crowbar, don't I? Oh man, I'm gonna go back and risk it to see if I can save. This might be a mistake. I really wanna save though. All right, crawl through here. We'll see if they can actually crawl through too. Although this seems like it's a safe room considering that I have the slot here. So I'm gonna save and then go see if I can get into that room that was broken open. We're going this way, we're going this way, babe. We're going this way, babe. Away, away from them, away from them, away from you, away from you. Can I go in here? What is in here? Anything interesting? Anything at all, anything at all. Okay, someone is here. I got some bullets. Six ammo added to inventory. Yeah, but anything else? The doorway's blocked. So you give me bullets and then I'm trapped now? Anything else, literally anything else. Seek, seek. Television set, it's seen better days. So have I, so have I. If we're being honest with each other, so have I. Can you come in here? <laughs> how about we, how about we use those bullets that I just got? Uh, how about we use those bullets? Can you get out of my way? Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I used all the bullets. I can't, I can't. Do you even die? Do you even die? Do you even die? Oh no. It's not that bad though, because I just saved. You know what? Let's accept our fate. Sorry. Was that worth six bullets? Nah. No. You know what I thought? I thought maybe there was going to be a um, lore thing, like something with the radio, but I guess that wouldn't make sense if you're like actively being attacked. That would make more sense in, in places that you can just explore. Does my health go back to normal if I'm not being attacked eventually? I'm in caution, so I should probably heal, shouldn't I? This is my last repair spray though. Okay, I'm back to fine. Hell yeah, I'm fine. All right, I think that's just behind me. Let's go back downstairs. I'm so annoyed. Oh, can I use something here now? I didn't pick up anything that I could use this with though. Wait, can I? Uh, can I use the claw hammer maybe? Got no use for that here. I can use the damaged battery? Is it like battery acid? Okay, so that can get me into the first floor. Can I actually go back here though and use this now? Am I gonna turn the, I bet I'm gonna turn the elevator on. Staff only. Maybe I can find a way to open it. The hammer. Yes. <gasps> yes, a long key and an old card reader set at the bottom of the lock box. Take the items, yes. Magnetic uh, writer and GF key added. Wait a second, does this mean I can get into all of the locked rooms now? I don't know how I feel about that. Card writer and note have been added to documents. Jace, uh, I finally found had all the locks updated. The only resident that refused was that whack job in 14. We'll see if the super can do something about him. Anyway, keep this remapper someplace safe. Next time you lose your card, just hit the master button and swipe any of the spare room keys. It'll rewrite the card to give you a house access. Any of those kids on second give you shit? Again, you call me, yeah, okay. So can I combine this with the card that I have? Um, and is it gonna be combined? Master room key added to inventory. So does that mean I can get into every single room now? I mean, so the reason I have mixed feelings about that is because um, I definitely want to see more of the environment, but I, I feel like there's so many rooms that we can go see. The lock is no longer broken. Oh, gate key, uh, use. Ground floor, that did the trick. And I'm also nervous because there's enemies and I'm like really not doing that good of a job with it right now. So, um, and my last save was right next to all of them. It's shut with an electronic lock. Yes, but can I use, can I, okay, let's test it. Can I use the master room key? It's unlocked now. 
So we can go into literally every single room. Uh, let's check it out then. I think she's just gonna say the same stuff about washing your hands, so unless I physically see an item in those. Uh, probably for the right collector. People in the in the apocalypse still collect old uh, technology. Nobody likes washing up, but this is just disgusting. Yeah, I don't think I don't think this is how they lived when they were still alive, Bestie. Oh God! Oh my God! Ew! Who was going around throwing spikes in all these people? Oh, by Jesus. the way, Ben Briswell, uh, intracranial hematoma. Poor guy. God. Was this done by those monsters? They seem to be a lot more just like, like uh, throwing punches instead of whatever this is. Are we gonna see residents? Maybe we, ah, uh, maybe the more residents we see, the more it like uh, unlocks the story for us or something. I definitely hear somebody. Is that a baby? No, that's a monster. Okay, both of those are there. I think I should be able- Okay, I can get into this one for sure, and then I should be able to get into that last one, too. The question is, do we go back and explore the other floors now that we have the MasterCard reader? I think so. It smells like something died in here. Uh, uh, evidence has proven that to be correct. Um, resident Julian Goldenberg. Aortic dissection. Aortic dissection? Are you kidding me? Noise complaint has been added to documents. I tell some things, I tell them something's off and they have the audacity to tell me it's the pipes. Well, I might not be Captain Obvious, but I already checked the pipes. They don't act up at 2 a.m. I swear to God that if I hear that unit upstairs stomping around again, I'm going to go up there myself to give them a piece of my mind. Freaking at idiots. Well, somebody got a piece of your heart. It wasn't your mind. I love trash. You guys like my lukewarm jokes? I do. <laughs> Gross. I'm not touching any of this. Okay, what's in here? Don't hear anything dangerous. Gross, the sheets are stained. Okay. I think a lot of the, the flavor dialogue for like the beds and things seem to be the same. Now that this apartment's done, I'm gonna go across the way to this one. It's totally not because the other hall um, sounded like there was something. So let's use this. I feel like this is missable though, isn't it? Like a lot of these rooms, especially since you can't, it doesn't just automatically unlock once you make the master room key. Okay, there's another body, but I don't hear any monsters. I'm just gonna call them monsters for now. Zombies, they seem like zombies, but it seems like more. It seems like something more complicated than zombies. I don't know. I'm probably reading too much into it. Okay, oh god, the TV. They did always say TV rots your brain. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely getting haunted for that one. Sounds like a joke I would make, Mika. <laughs> I loved it. All right, and then some more red lights. And uh, uh, one of these. Who keeps throwing spikes everywhere? All right, seek, there's nothing of any use in here. I get the feeling that we're getting into these residents just to get their their bot, but they but there isn't a body info here, so I don't know. Either way, I don't think there's anything else in here. And also, I see this. It feels kind of final to me. Should we go through? Use. See, I don't know. Let's check. At the very least, I want to see the rest of the room here. It'd be nice if I could save in my one room down at the bottom. Because it's been a while since I've done that. Just when I mentioned that. Just when I mentioned that. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny you would throw that at me right now. Should I go try and save? Okay, here's the plan. I'm going up to the third floor first to see if I can unlock these rooms. Also because I'm wondering if there's going to be monsters just everywhere now. But at this point, I, I just, I don't know. I really want to see if I can use the... Yeah, okay. So I can get into every single one of these rooms now. 
I guess I might as well. If there's anything super interesting in them, uh, I don't know yet. What is this? Oh, ammo. Yes. Okay, well, that's nice. That's very nice. Television. Let's find those tuned base models. So if there's lore or anything, then you guys will definitely see it. Otherwise, I think I might cut this up a bit. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we just, uh, we just go through it. Acute malnutrition. See, if it's not like they were murdered, it seems to me that they are starving. Which would make sense if they were abandoned and they had no way to grow food. Some of these bodies aren't as decayed as others. I wonder if there's anyone left alive. That's the thing I noticed, too. I did notice that. It's filthy in a way I'd sleep in something like that. Oh, God. Oh, God, that was the... <laughs> that was the first... She said something to me. I was like, okay. Um, and then I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, I guess there was more locked doors, or less locked doors than I initially thought. There was only one on this floor. Okay, and there's no monsters on the third floor, of course. Let's go down to the second floor, check that area out, see if I can get into any of those locked doors just quickly. Also, because that's where my save is, so we can save at this point. And then I will come back down and do the rest of the first floor, and then we will get out of here probably. <laughs> Maybe. Unfortunately, there is a room back here. That one's locked. Okay, really? Really? The door is shut with an electronic... Baby, do you know what we're doing? We're gonna use this. Go! <laughs> I hate that I got hit, though. Okay, and also they're waiting outside for me. Is that a... Wow, okay. The tub is littered with tiny bones. The smell of bleach is making me nauseous. Ew. That's the thing, is I feel like when the apocalypse actually hits, oh my god. The candles are still going. Is somebody here? Why are you not acknowledging that fact? Um, I feel like there are serial killers when there are no longer consequences for their actions who might do something along the lines of this. A candle at dinner for one. I like your humor, Mika. It's funny. And just a little cringy, just how I like it. Right, there's more spikes here. Maybe it's him doing that. I hate to think what has happened in this room. Sleeping with the dead. Some people are really messed up. Yeah, it's almost like, um, I don't even know. Okay, we don't have to, we don't have to look through that. Let's see if there's a, uh, ammo? Ammo? Nice. Okay, I think that was worth it. Although, I, I feel like I need to use the gun more maybe, but I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to waste bullets if I need them later. Oh my god, this one wasn't even locked. I got hit for nothing. For nothing. Is there a defend button? Okay, I'm done. They're ganging up on me. I don't remember there being a defense. And with that, we are going to get the heck out of here. Ah, oh crap. Get out of my way, please. There's so many of them on this floor. So I have completely explored all of the uh, third and second floors. I can check out the rest of this floor, which I think I want to, because I just saved. There is a monster down here though. I thought there was at least. Okay, there's nothing back here. There is a room. Uh, won't budge. It's a different type of lock to the other rooms. Do I have an item? Can I just use the claw hammer? Interesting. Oh, this was the one they said wouldn't change. So I gotta find a key then. Where would he have hit a key? Oh, I gotta... Oh, I bet I gotta surmise it from different clues. Okay, so I can get in here. Where was the monster that was in here? The light is flickering in this room, and what do we have? A TV set? Are you just gonna say the same stuff, though? A collector might want this. Probably worth a p <laughs> pretty petty for a collector. I know you so well, Mika. <laughs> We're like best friends now. Uh, okay. Ooh, wait, what is this? Resident co-star. Co-star? Really? It's a content creator. <laughs> this is foreign substance mercury from Mercury. Damn. 
Okay, diary entry has been added to documents. Wednesday, September 6th. Spent most of today helping Laura and little Chris move. Work on old shopping center is due to start tomorrow. And she doesn't fancy your chances of Chris sleeping through the night with all that going on. They told the locals to keep their windows closed because they have people working around the clock. Not exactly making a good first impression, if you ask me. There was a noise complaint. Uh, anyway, the work's later for two months. And Laura's mom's taken them... Uh, for the second one, so it shouldn't be too disruptive. It'll be nice having Chris around. Kids bring good vibes to the house, and he can't get enough of my old consoles. Chris has taken to using a controller pretty well, but still insists on tapping on the CRT like it's a touchscreen. Honestly, it's just nice to have a player, too. It's been years since I've played some of these games. Maybe I can convince Laura to join us for a game or two. I think I still have my multi-tap somewhere. Aw, cool. Kind of sad what ended up happening, though. Uh, actually... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I just realized it's a skeleton. Um, foreign substance mercury. That's odd. And I think that's it for this room, but we did pick up a document, so that's not... It's, we haven't lost... Uh, we haven't lost the plot yet. Okay, so if we can get into room 14, maybe if we go uh, past the garage... Oh, I see you. Where were you before? Oh, come on! No... Uh, Mika, if you could run just ever so slightly faster, I would love you for it. All right, if I run into people here, I'm definitely going to use the gun if I can. Although, like, six gunshots still wasn't enough for them. I don't know if I need to aim better. I mean, I always could do that. Hey. You remember that day we got stuck at the sushi joint on 7? The whole street was locked down that night. Everyone was freaking out, calling their bosses, lawyers, loved ones. But you said you didn't care. You trapped there with me, and as much sushi as you could eat. You said there was no better way to go. Family and Foch. You know, that was the first time anyone had called me that. Family. Just the two of us making something from nothing. access all right let's do it i think that was mika oh we're getting called again uh i think that was mika and sasha a memory sounds like it's coming from this side oh great are we gonna get another call we are uh i'm gonna answer the call first since i think this is gonna be a save and then we'll look at the document i see it there hello Oh, great. It's you. <laughs> Who else would it be? You have blood on your hands. I also have blood on my face, I it looks like. what those things were. Murderer. Can you stop saying that? Fuck. Murderer. How did it feel? Did we that first one pretty hard? Oh my god. What the fuck is this place? I told you. Should have stayed where it was warm. I can't be here. I... I have to get out. I have to get Sasha. And I have to get the fuck out of here. Be careful what you wish for. Murderer. Be careful what you wish for. Okay, and we can save. So... Ooh. Be careful what you wish for makes me suspicious about what has potentially happened to Sasha. Because that's the only thing. Like, getting out of here doesn't seem that bad, but the thing about Sasha could potentially be bad at this point. Dear valued tenants, we write to inform you of an important development regarding your residency at Gator House. 
As you are aware, the property has recently been acquired by Sherwood Estate Management and will undergo certain changes in its management and policies. Following this acquisition, there will be an adjustment in the terms of occupancy and rental prices. Our aim is to enhance the living experience and ensure the sustained quality of the premises. Uh, in light of this transition, we kindly request your attention to the terms attached. We understand the significance of this change and its impact on your living arrangements. Should you find it unsuitable to continue under the updated terms, we respect your decision to seek alternative accommodation. In such case, we kindly ask you notify us with the stipulated time frame to facilitate a smooth transition. We assure you that the transition process will be handled with the utmost care and consideration for your comfort and convenience. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation during this transition period. Sincerely, Mike Crew. Sure what estate management. Mike! Is this the mic? Ah, it could be. <gasps> Health? No, to, uh, rum or moonshine. <laughs> Looks like someone set up a makeshift distillery here. There's a half empty bottle of alcohol. Yeah, let's take it. Bottle added to inventory. I'm assuming, I'm gonna assume that's not health. I got all I need for now. Um, it'd be great if I could have one of those water bottles though. Mika has blood all over her face. I think that's because I didn't, um, I don't have enough health for her. But I did just save. Hopefully they'll give us some more. I'm playing on, I'm playing on like what is regular mode or the intended, so. I don't know what I expected. Um, 112. Oh, this is the number. Stop, identify, extinguish. It's a sign about the fire procedure for this block. It says in the event of fire, all apartment doors will unlock. Ah, that's just dumb. What if you were in the shower or something? <laughs> well, it'd be easier for people to get uh, to you if there wasn't a lock on it. Okay. Um, can't get through there. So we got to set a fire. Maybe a dumpster fire somewhere. An old bin filled with damp charred paper packaging. Right next to the fire alarm. Oh, uh, let's not do it yet. Let's not do it yet, because we don't know what we're gonna we're gonna unlock. The key card reader is blocked with some kind of growth. So that's why I can't get into these with the master key. It's firmly stuck. I'm assuming maybe those will open too. Maybe they'll like forcefully open and like rip through the flesh that is on these doors. Uh okay. I don't think I can get, go down this way. Mika, uh, describe to me the texture of this stuff. I'm curious if it's like metallic or something else. So I gotta start a fire. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe that'll open up the 14th door too, over in the other thing. I still haven't forgotten about it. All right, let's do it. Do I have to use the alcohol too? There's nothing to set a light here. Use. I soak the contents in alcohol. Okay, and then I got it. Sorry, I should just open up my inventory <laughs> instead of going through the little cutscene every time. Uh, lighter. Here we go. Now let's see if the uh, system is still up and running. It is. I can't go back. What about the one room, though? I swear I don't have the key, though. Master room key. Yeah, I didn't pick up a key. I didn't see it anywhere. This is unlocked now. Is the other one gonna be unlocked? I don't know. Resident Haynes Winkler. Uh, he was an engineer, deceased, sepsis, and second pneumonia. And there's some pictures here. Pick up. Oh, we got some lore. Future wishes has been added to documents. What what do I wish for for my future, you ask? I hope my family leads a happy life, that my work remains my passion, and that my hobbies continue to bring me joy, and that the world evolves into a better place for everyone. What's certain is that even after death, my love for games, trophies, and collectibles <laughs> will not fade. Obviously, this isn't entirely true. I've now become a collectible myself, waiting to be discovered by the curious. But this gives me hope. Hope that my other wishes will also be fulfilled. Hope for my family's happiness and hope for a better world. I'm confident that I will find rest in a beautiful place. I can smell the roses already. <laughs> All right, a little a little meta, meta commentary on the collectibles that you can pick up here. It's funny. Oh, but we have <gasps> last stop cafe. Um, let's open up our Kotak. Or Kotak.
It's just spitting. It smells funny. Yep. Oh, come on. This is really taking the piss now. No, that's what the water smells like. Okay, and that was the third signal, according to the achievement I just got. So, uh, it tells us a little bit more about James. What am I looking at here? A guitar. Am I actually gonna pick up like the strings from this or something? An old electric guitar could be useful as a weapon. I can use the guitar as a weapon? No way, wait, actually, item. Is it gonna like make, uh, equip? Oh, <laughs> whoa! All right, we'll keep it here for now, I guess. Uh, let's see what else we got. Got some chopsticks, maybe I can use those. I don't know for what yet. To pick a lock, maybe? Some old chopsticks could be useful, yes. I'll take them. Chopsticks added to inventory. Um, where'd my guitar go? <laughs> <laughs> I look so cool. I look like a rock star walking around with my guitar. Also, if there's any enemies, I'm kind of screwed. But again, I don't really like fighting that much. Um, I can go through here. Do I want to see if there's any other doors that are unlocked? Is there something running? There's something banging this door. It's a board of chat or banging somewhere. That didn't turn out well for me last time. I got attacked. All right, I guess we got to go through here. But I swear, I heard something like knocking at a door. So I'm nervous. But let's go. Um, We have a window. How is this going to take me to the roof, by the way? Is this just going to unlock some door that I haven't been able to unlock yet? Or is this the service elevator? Looks like a keypad. Before we uh, look at that, I want to make sure everything's safe. Oh, I can go. Oh, no, I can't go up. That's completely blocked off. But I have a thing here. Electrician's note has been added to documents. Jace, uh, elevator's not elevating. Just decommission this thing already. It's beyond help. If anyone gets stuck again, flip the switches until the dial matches the picture on the cover. So 00XX0X. Uh, there's a big square button you gotta press when the voltage is right. I'm serious though, the lift's a death trap. Don't say that, because I have to take the lift. I have to take it. Use. There's no power. Okay, do I have to do it here? That doesn't make sense though. It looks like this is the exit door, but it's locked with a keypad. I have no idea what the combination could be. So I gotta find it at some point. So I gotta lift the... Uh, where have I seen a thing? Is it this? Oh, it's right here. Is it this? Or no, I can break into it. Locked with a cheap padlock. Uh, use. Here we go. Okay, so it's gotta be... Um, wait, is that giving me a hint because there's not a switch there or do I need to find a switch? Hold on, let me look at the document again. I gotta get a switch, don't I? Where would a switch be though? Chopstick! The chopsticks, right? Can I use them? Oh my god! I'm a genius! That should do it. Okay. Um, zero, zero, like that? Or wait, hold on. Like that? <gasps> Amazing! Looks like that did the trick. Okay, perfect. Oh god, I don't like the- uh. Let's just get out of here. Before something comes after me. Something's gonna come out of that elevator, isn't it? 
<laughs> you just watch. I have no help. Should I save? Probably. No? We're good, you say. Alright, let's go up. We're going up to the roof, finally. Damn. There's only two buttons. I'm staying in the corner. You never know when you're gonna get ambushed. Oh, damn it. What's going on? Do I have to pry it open? No, no, it's not gonna take me to the roof, is it? Am I good? Oh, the guitar is gone. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I'm at the roof. Wait, go back. <laughs> Are you a... Oh my god, wait, you're real? I mean, like, not a zombie? A malnourished man with an open wound across his face stands before me. He teeters over the 80-story drop to the streets below, casually shifting his weight as he sways to a silent rhythm. That's a long way down. Excuse me or say nothing. Um... It's a long way down. He keeps glancing at his wristwatch, an old analog clock. Uh, I'd be surprised if it still works. Maybe we should talk inside. You must be freezing. Is that your tent? Uh, is that your tent? Is that your tent? Not mine. There are others. Other people, I mean. Not anymore. Did you grow up here? After the collapse? Mother cared for us. Your mother. Did she? Our I thought better than to press him on the details. This man was clearly unstable. Bringing up the past was hardly going to help. He also stood inches away from the fatal fall. I needed to consider my words carefully. I forgot to ask your name. There's more to life than this. Bad things can happen, but with time they can heal. Uh, I forgot to ask your name. His tone shifted, a cold shiver ran down my spine. This man was clearly unhinged. It suddenly dawned on me just how stupid I was to try and reason with him. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. He didn't reply. I could see the tension in his shoulders build as his posture stiffened, his breathing getting audibly louder with each exhale. Again, he glances at his wristwatch. Try radio? Why do you keep checking your watch or we've got a better chance if we work together? Uh, why do you keep checking your watch? Why do you keep checking your watch? Are you waiting for someone? Doesn't work. Broken. Just like everything else. But you keep checking it. I told you. Oh god, a shrill beep followed by a crackle of static emits from my radio. Someone is trying to reach me. It could be tax. Answer radio or ignore it. Oh, I don't know what the right answer is. Is this timed too? Because we had the option to do the radio before as well. I feel like the radio is just going to... Maybe the frequency that they pick up isn't going to be tax, but it's going to be... Oh, I don't know what the right answer is. Ignore. You should answer that. Might be important. I'm more concerned with getting you down from that ledge. All right. Have it your way. No, he's gonna go the other way. Is he coming down? Oh god, he's coming down. Okay. Do you really think there's a way out? Was this a mistake? A shrill beep followed by the crackle of static rings out. Underneath the layers of noise, I can make out a familiar voice. It's tax. He's okay. Tax, oh, you've got to help me. It's like a 
moaning or something. The radio tries to hold on to a signal. Tax's voice fades in and out of the static. He's saying, don't trust anyone. Tax? Tax? Do you hear me? Now you made me nervous about my decision. The radio fades out, cutting off into dead air. My thing with all of these is, like, I still don't know that I trust him. Okay. But he might give us information. I can do that. Lead the way. Wait, you're coming with us? We're not alone? Oh my god, we can form a cute little band. He does seem injured, though, so he might be infected. Can I look down here? It's crazy. Okay, so now we have a friend. Cool. Um, I need to go back, though, and check the other thing. 8053. Ah, oh, that's the exit code. Okay, cool. Is there anything else? There's nothing left uh, that's useful for me. And then anything here? No. So I want to check out the rest of this area and then we'll go down to the basement. I, I'm kind of nervous, though, if I made the right choice with this guy. Because he could turn on us at any point. Um, but at the same time, he presumably has been living here. Can I do anything with this trash? Oh, wait, can I smash this? Smash. Smash. No. So he might be able to tell us something about what's going on or know somebody and keep us from getting attacked later. You're not coming? Is he not coming? Oh, there's nothing over here anyway. Okay. Are you not coming? You never told me your name. He's <laughs> looking at us like, um, please, are you, where? Do I go with you? Are you going to follow me eventually? Well, I'm just going to go anyway. If he doesn't follow us, it's not the end of the world. Actually, it is. How'd you end up in the elevator <laughs> before me? This guy can teleport. Okay. This place used to be so full of life. Now it's just us. Okay, so we can go out this way. I still kind of want to see if I can get into that one room. Like, maybe he has the key to it. It's a gross, fleshy mess. Okay, so you told me the texture. It's fleshy. Good to know. Well, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's just continue. Looks like this is the exit door, but it's locked with a keypad. I do have the item. It's this note. Inspect. Uh, 8053. Use. It's unlocked. You ready, dude? I also don't want to risk it, though, leaving him here if it's not an infection in that way. If he's hurt and we... We should hurry. ...have the opportunity. Okay, can I pick up... Are these, like, health drinks or anything? No. All right, let's go, I guess. Ew, what's on the ground there? It was like a snake and a lot of flesh piles. Where is it? I saw a snake thing going around. And then the ruins here. The ruins kind of make sense though if they were sending missiles into this area, which we did see evidence of. Oh, there's a zombie back there. All right, let's see what is up here. We've got a whole road. I love just taking in some of the tableaus or scenes in games like this because I feel like I, they, the developers really take the time to craft them and it's really beautiful. I feel like so many of them, oh, who is this? Classified, classified, everything is classified. Can I pick up? Shift schedule has been added to documents. Slight so change up for next week's shifts. We got the new guy on from Monday, so he'll be making up for losing Stu. Team three, you're on the night again until Stu two gets his bearings. Okay. Location Wick Street, checkpoint, this week's crew. Team one, Alex, Bailey, Casey, Drew, Aaron, Flynn, Gail, Hayden, Imani, Monday to Sunday, team one, two, three. 
Just run the shifts and keep your heads down. Any serious trouble, let me know and I'll get the boys down. Don't give them uh, the time of day. Hold the line and restrain if necessary. Uh, feral freaks, Steve. Okay. Then what's this? What are you? What are you? Can I talk to you at all? I don't think so. Uh, that's all void. All right. I'm going to go around you. Excuse me. Sorry. Where am I going again? Who knows? There's blood here. All right. I'm just going in circles, so... What does that sound? Is there a mecha or something? Like a gigantic robot? I hear something that sounds more mechanical. <gasps> oh god, it's a dog! Um, excuse me, can I go in here? I don't think there's any reason to go inside. Oh god, you're scaring me. Um, okay, I see it. I see some bullets. Take this bad boy. I do not have a lot of health. I don't have a lot of health. Just run. Just run. Okay, just run. For your life. I actually kind of hate it. I hate the implication. Zombie dogs are so sad. Um, anything back here? Yes. Health? <gasps> that is exactly what I needed. What should I name you? The guy, since he doesn't give us a name. Um. Fred? Fred, maybe? <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Should I change to the- Oh, I don't want to change to the gun. And I also have to- I have to use my health spray. Okay. Um, I wish you would stay in your inventory. It's so stressful that it immediately brings you out of it. How many am- Okay, I have- oof, I technically have enough ammo. Oh, I feel- Oh! Oh, I feel bad. Oh, that feels really bad. All right, we'll equip the guitar again. We're just gonna leave the people alone, okay? Got things to do. I have to find help. There's a light in this house. Can I go in it? It won't budge, okay? Oh, maybe there's an item I can use eventually. I don't wanna have to run into any of the other dogs. The dogs kind of suck because they're very fast. Um, comparatively. Is there something here? What do you see? I think I see ammo on the other side or something. Okay, not another dog! Not, not, not another dog! Not another dog! Not another dog! Oh god. Ew, it has tendrils! Oh god. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You guys, you guys suck, to be honest. <laughs> uh... All right, I gotta get through here. This is gonna be a precarious situation. Can I jump? Void, classified, all right. Oh God, you're a big guy. You're a big guy. All right, quickly, don't get hurt again. Ah, ah, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up the bullets. Add it to inventory, cool, okay. We're just gonna keep moving. Why is there a bullseye back here? No, no, no. Ooh, bow and arrow? Leather quill, it's missing a bow. Take the bow and arrow, or take the arrows, yeah. Is there gonna be a bow back here anywhere? Bow? Arrows? Why is you change, why is you change your perspective? I'm scared. Big guy was back here. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <gasps> I'm okay, okay. He's going after the other guy and the dog. I'm gonna keep it moving, I'm gonna keep it moving. We have a goal, okay? Nothing should deter us from this goal. I feel like I'm gonna miss out on collectibles, but also that's why that's why story mode exists <laughs> for a little bit later on. Just cause some of the things might, some of the um, uh, places around here might have areas for us. Okay, is this a save? Hello? If I can save, I feel more comfortable exploring. Oh, really? <sighs> Why do you keep calling me? It's for no good. I see you are the friend. Yeah. I seem to have, Get yes. You should too, if you know what's good for you. They don't know you like I do. Not really. What? You don't know me. Is this Sasha? <sighs> 
talking to you. I wonder. Holloway. Holloway. What did you say? Holloway. How do you know my name? Oh, that's her, Mika Holloway. me so whoa and he just materialized out of nothing all right just saved oh there's a self help hot help so, so blah, 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 self help hotline over there struggling to cope interesting okay the dogs are still after us this isn't the best save in the entire world but at the very least now i can actually take the time to like check some of these doors now there's anything worthwhile inside but the thing about it is it's telling me that and I've checked like three of the doors. So I am feel like I need to assume that there's going to be nothing through those health. Yes. Okay, and then there's classified. Are you going to have information on you though? I don't know how many of these guys are going to have information on them. All right, let's go into the park it looks like. Is this the way forward though? Because there was a way over to the right. This feels final. This feels important. All right, let's go back. There's a dog. There's snakes. Ew. Ew. Oh my God. Okay, really? Ran right into me. Crowd shot. Damn. Really, 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 really. Right after I got help. You're mean. Stop it. All right, readjust your view. Readjust your, readjust your viewpoint. We gotta, we gotta, Stop there and let me correct it. I want to live a life from a new perspective. Is there going to be anything down here? I'm not seeing anything. Now that I've scratched that itch, let's go back. Meet our little friend, whoever you may be. I feel like the reason the voice knows stuff... Um, also, can I read this? I don't think so. Can I? Oh, contamination poster added to documents. Contamination area official notice the zone has passed a potential hazard. Access restricted to authorized personnel only. Do not enter or make eye contact. Lethal force may be used to comply. Okay, well, if you're not allowed to make eye contact, then that could also be used for, like, theory juices here. God, the little snakes are so gross. They're like leeches. They also look kind of like just little, like, um... Say intestines. Also, is there a missing part? No, that's just the contamination posters on the thing. Oh, there's a fountain in the back. All right, excuse me. Lovely. Can I see anything about you? No, you don't want to. All right, I can go. <gasps> ah, ah, ah. Oh my god, there's so many of you guys. Do I have a map? I know I have a map. Do I have a map of this area though? Uh, let's see. It's not showing me. Okay. Let's just take, let's just take a path. See where we can go. What if I can make eye contact? I'm still thinking that it's some sort of like hive mind, which is one of my, one of my favorite things to theorize in sci-fi, uh, things. There's fresh blood here. And some tents. Guys, this is getting intense. <laughs> get it because they're tense. What's back here? They just dumped on here. Fuck. Oh, Ew. Oh, the smells unbearable. So many bodies. Oh my god. Wait, can I um use my thing here? Go radio? I can. Just 
just like the rest of us. Rebellion fucking bodies, man. People, they don't deserve to end like this. <laughs> Do we have a problem here? I need to make that call. Cool. You gonna add him to the pile of bodies? Find the fourth signal. I don't know how many signals there are going to be here. This is crazy. I'm still, like, fascinated and want to know more about what exactly is, like, this infection. Or everything. Can I pick anything up here? Seek. That's all classified. There's so many of the classified bodies here, too. Is there anything here? No. <laughs> the guy jumped up on the tree. So they didn't end up surviving whatever the end of this thing was, which maybe whoever hired them knew that and they just didn't know themselves at the time that this would be their last job. Okay, it looks like there's some spider thing here. A gate? No, that's a person. Mia uh, Camilla. Accountant, uh, deceased, acute malnutrition. A disfigured body hangs from the gate. Body is woven with chains, a heart-shaped padlock rests in the chest of the poor woman. An old wallet has been left on the ground. Take the wallet, yeah. Can I take the padlock too? Probably Mia, maybe? So I can look at this again. Oh, I need to find the thing for the padlock. Can I inspect the wallet? Inspect an old worn leather wallet. Uh, there's a digilock, digilock house key tucked inside. Oh, house key added to inventory. Oh, wait, so that's why house key and wallet. Yes, but who, uh, who did this belong to? ID card and the wallet. The address seems to be nearby. House number twenty-one. House number twenty-one. Okay. Does that mean that I can inspect more of these? A quiver and several uh, arrows. Inspect. Vintage coil wound electric guitar. The headstock says sugar cane. Uh, it can unlock all rooms. There's the lighter. Can I ins Okay, I'm just gonna inspect everything. A family heirloom. Kotak, it's old tech, but near impossible for someone to monitor the signal. I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it anyway. Um, the guitar seems to like fade or not be as effective. Although maybe it is. She does a, a sick turn every time she uses it. So I wonder if that's how I ended up missing the key at all for the one room. Oh well, let's go. So we gotta find something, a padlock key that is heart-shaped. Oh, it's gonna be, that's what, we're gonna find the key to her heart in house 21 and I can save on the way there because the entrance to the park uh, is where the save was. Okay, is there somebody here? these trash bags. It's all classified. Revolver ammo has been added to inventory. I will take it. I will take it. Any opportunity to uh, get myself prepared for any monsters that might show up, but I will say I think that the uh, strategy I'm taking for this game is to run as much as possible. Where is this going to? Is this leading to the pile of bodies? I think that is. We're going to take the outskirts since we had already seen that and I don't think I think once is enough for um, anybody to see that. Okay, I think I gotta go. I'm gonna check out this first. We have a body. Resident Aaron Marlowe, deceased, cerebral hem hemorrhage, void. And then some health. Yes. Thank you. This is completely blocked off. Is the fountain gonna be for anything? So what's over here? A monument? It seems like, ah. <laughs> I could go straight through it. All right, big rock. I wonder what you mean. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So it's coming after us. Is that ammo though? No, that's just trash. Okay, we gotta go to house number 21. So that's why I could interact with some of these doors. I don't know what, that says 66. Okay, so damn. 
Um, it's not going to be in this neighborhood, I don't think. We have to go to another one. 42. Okay, we got to go all the way back. Come on, Chester, or whatever I named you. Um, Ben? He seems like a Ben. I'm going to call you Ben. Oh, it's the one with the light on, isn't it? I bet that's what it is. Because I remember noticing that. Developers use light to point you in the direction you should be going a lot of times. Is this 24? 21? It won't budge. But I have the key. Let's use it. It's unlocked. Okay, go quickly. <laughs> Ew. The sounds. Well, at least it's dry in here. Auto save. Yeah, I guess. Let's not get too comfortable. You're right, Ben. Let's not. I hear breathing in here, so I imagine. Uh, we're gonna have to worry about some monsters. They're probably upstairs, though. Pick up. Great, we're watching a horror movie now. Are we gonna get jump scared? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, this calls for a gun. Okay. Can we go? Can we go? Get out of my way. Get out. Oh, hello. Okay. Yep. Yep. Run. Oh, critical. Can we heal? Can we heal? Can we heal? Can we heal? Ah! Where did the eyeball go? The eyeball was just here. Does that mean I just have to go upstairs? Um, use, because I'm in danger. Okay. Are you dead? Well, you're through the wall. <laughs> that works for me. Okay, how many bullets do I have left now that I've used all of that? Um, 18. That's really, that's not bad. Uh, did I just, uh, equip that? I hope I did. Now I gotta get used to, okay, I gotta get used to doing this. Um, let's go check out the bathroom that he was in. Bro, and it gave me four more bullets, that's really good. I'm glad that I'm saving it, I'm saving my ammo for boss fights like that, because I gotta play it a little bit more strategic considering, even though I am thorough and I try and pick up as much as I can, they're still not giving me a ton of ammo, which means I need to be really careful. Um, but that's why sometimes I really like, hello? Is she hallucinating, by the way? Because the eyeball is just gone, and I don't know if it's supposed to be gone, or if it was just preventing me from leaving before until I finished the boss fight. Okay, uh, health? Really? Really? Ew. Is that blood? Did a bird fly into the window or something? It did. <gasps> Wait a damn minute. The voice on the phone keeps, uh, saying that we're like sparrows or, um, my starling or like th re references to birds. Wonder if they're sending it after us. A tripod is set pointing out the window. Okay. Pick up. Do I have to do something with this? Ah, oh, get the camera maybe. There's a lot of plants, too. This person had a hobby of um, botany and film. Well-rounded. All right, look, what's in here? Potak? Oh, oh my god. Rosie Hardwell, nurse, deceased, circulatory shock. What does that mean? Ah, the flowers do little to mask the awful smell. Okay. Um, let's pick up, let's, uh, do our little radio. I think it might give us insight as to what happened here. Although all of them seem to be in the before times, except for the one with the bodies. Did they think it was a cure? <laughs> Or were they, did Just they... Try not to think about it. So this is it. We just lie and wait for it to be over. I've been doing this in our terms. Not this. We've held on long enough, sis. We gave it on this shot. I don't want to end up like that. 
my god. <laughs> this is the way. We do this together. God, that's so sad. That was the fifth signal. Oh, wow. This is more recent than some of the skeletons we had seen, too. I wonder if one of them got infected. Or if it was just at that point that they gave up uh, hoping. Did something just click at me? Okay. Some of the ambiance is scaring me. So I was supposed to have picked up something here, I think, though, right? Like a key? Did I not? Oh, no. I bet I gotta pick up the camera and put it here. That's what I think. Okay. Can I pick this up? Dusty camcorder? Take the camcorder? Yes, please. Uh, don't have to watch all these tapes. Yeah, the last time we got, like, straight up attacked, so I don't blame you for not wanting to do that. So are we gonna be able to see something special? Is that why we need to put the camcorder here? So I don't know how this is going to give us a key. Although stranger things have happened. Uh, use. Thirty-five millimeters. At that house. Twenty. Oh, is that where I'm going to? It's pointing right at that house. The one on the corner there. Okay. I don't have a saves close by though. Well, we'll just have to. We'll just have to stick it out with our melee weapon. Oh my god, you scared me. Let's go. Is that gonna even open for me? Oh, maybe the key will open. Wait, because they were sisters. Then who is the person hanging from the thing in um, the park? But it would make sense if they were sisters that they might have keys to each other's houses or apartments. All right, let's go. 210. And this one's just unlocked. I guess before she was like, no, there's no point in me going into any of these. What's that smell? Oh, <laughs> Sorry, like pooped bacon. my pants. Oh, that's different. Um, we got some revolver ammo and a note. Is this going to be from another collectible? <laughs> another, uh, living, not living collectible? Cobalt Chronicle, AI nanocells, anti-aging or fast track fatality. A third fatality at the hands of the controversial pharmaceutical conglomerate Echo Gardens prompts backlash uh, with the wider medical community as tests continue for Echo's diverse new AI-powered nanocell initiative. Promising to stunt the efforts of aging as by as high as 90%, this alluring new technology has yet to see a commercial release, but is stated to enter full production in just 12 months from now. Many fear Echo's ambitions may be detrimental to the wider medical industry as the company grows to a staggering 87% market dominance, raising cause for concern surrounding the supply of raw materials used in common medicines. Echo Garden have declined to comment on this third tragic fatality, once again echoing, excuse the pun, their previous messaging that all parties involved in ongoing medical trials are fully aware of the risks and compensated appropriately. Which begs the question, what good is a lump of cash when you're six feet underground? Damn. So... <laughs> did they end up causing a lot of this issue? Uh, not issue, but the apocalypse? I don't know. I'll have to see. Okay, let me get close to this dangerous wiring. Something has been wired directly into the socket. There's no way I'm touching it. Why not? Live a little. I say asking you to do something that will definitely end oh, in you dying. I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, that's not bacon. Oh, that was the smell. Oh my god. There's a live current running in through the bath water. I can see something lying at the bottom of the tub just below the water surface. I'll need to find a way to hook out the plug if I want to drain the water. Okay. I don't think there's I don't think there's any uh, radio signals that I can do here. 
So that means I gotta go upstairs maybe. I haven't picked up anything. I mean, I have a hammer, but I don't think that that's gonna be useful. I gotta throw some enemy at me at some point too. Whoa. Whoa. City center. This body is an old metal rod sign protruding from its chest. Take the makeshift axe? I guess so. Been added to inventory. Can I use that? Is that one of my items now? One of my melee weapons? Inspect. An old road sign. It has been repurposed as a rudimentary axe of sorts. Why not? All right. Yeah, look at me. I have a new weapon. Better watch out, Ben. Better watch out. So what are these photos? Just to remind him of his past life? All that's inside is a single metal coat hanger. Take the coat hanger? Yes. Be better if it was plastic. I feel like metal still, you could get electrocuted, right? I don't know if that's what we're gonna be using. Stop it. Stop it with these like mini subtle jump scares. You know why they work? Cause I'm already on edge. Okay, spray added to inventory. And a document. Child's drawing has been added. The man in the window says hello. Ew. Ew. So it was the guy watching them? Someone was stalking this. Oh god. A child's yo yo toy sits on the table. Take the toy? Yes. So what am I doing with this? Yo yo. Did I need to do something with it? Um. I don't know, my mind is going everywhere. Can I combine things? Let me see if I can combine the yo-yo with like the hanger. Combine. Makeshift hook added to inventory. Really? Damn, okay. Why is this um, broken like that? Inspect. I tied up the yo-yo to the coat hanger. It's time to go fishing. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're not unplugging the wire. We are using this to fish out whatever was at the bottom here, which I'm assuming is going to be the key that we need. All right, here we go. <sighs> yeah, I know. Here we go. Is that a tape there too on the underneath his hand? Should I take that with me? There's the heart key, heart shape key added to inventory. Can I take this? I've got what I needed, it's time to leave. Really? It seemed like I could maybe take that, okay. And of course, I run the risk of running into something when I leave. <gasps> no way. I, ooh, what if it is a hive mind and the hive mind can take over technology? That would make sense as to why the phone line, they can use it without Where'd Ben go, by the way? Um, without there being power and then also the TV anomalies and everything. I think that might be something. I think I might be cracking the code to this, uh, this game. I'm actually just a genius in disguise. All right, let's go back. Uh, wait, no, I don't need to go back to that one room. I just need to go back to the thing, right? Uh, yeah, I have to go back this way. All right, let's go. Oh, hey, Ben. He keeps teleporting. So I think the heart was over here to the right, if I remember correctly. So can I pick anything up from these guys? I don't think so. Or was it? Wait, there's like a skate park here. Wait, this is sick, bro. Whoa, this is so cool, actually. There's a whole skate park. You know any moves? I don't. <laughs> but it's cool that they have this here. It's a skate friendly park. Oh God, there's a big guy in my path. Ah! Were you guys this tall beforehand or does it make you taller? Oh my God, Ben, seriously. <laughs> you can't run at me like that. Here we go. Um, let's put in the heart key. Use. I don't 
think we've traveled three miles, have we? <laughs> We're still quite a way. When the looting started. I'm more worried about who keeps those candles lit. Oh, yeah, wait. Were you the guy in the apartment who... Uh, were you the guy in the apartment who had the candles in the room with all the bones? Was that you, Ben? Was there a darker reason as to why you were on the roof? And I think any reason is pretty dark, but okay, use. In the ever-loving memory of Charlie Marcus Helson, the Lord watch between me and thee, while we are absent one from the other. Hmm, okay. Is that gonna be a clue for a puzzle? I don't know. Oh, there's another grave back there. Let's go back. Oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, it's a light. Is there anything here, though? Yeah, there is. Sacred to the memory of Jack Felix Marcus, a tiny flower meant not given to bud on earth. Is your hand broken, Ben? His hand looked broken there. Okay, I definitely think this is going to be a puzzle. What's back there? Something, something? Silver darlings? I'm gonna have to go through there. Is that just a shop? Right next to the graveyard? Silver selling silver next to the graveyard? Precious memories of Alexander Harrison. The Lord Alexander is my Hamilton. Shepherd. I shall not. Shepherd. Am I supposed to. Oh, I bet I'm gonna have to put in specific objects to all of these different graves. That would make sense to me. And then something here? In remembrance of Conroy Walker. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. Some of these uh, epitaphs go hard. Crazy. It's like dying and being like, I'm not scared. I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of deaths. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Kill me? Right, there's uh, another grave back here. Should we look through all of these before we go? This looks important. But it's not. Oh, here. Sacred to the memory of Beverly Hammond. So he was digging, whoever was doing this was um, digging up graves? Why? To reanimate them? Is it a thing that they, wait a second, does the thing not even start, or the infection or whatever this is until there are, there's a deceased patient? An ever -loving memory of if that's the case, I would be so sad for the sisters. Okay, I think I've uh, picked up a lot of them. It's gotta be a puzzle. And then we have, uh, looks like an older grave, gravestones here. Oh, here's one. Treasured memories of Frederick Stillman, a tiny flower lent not given to bud on earth and bloom in heaven. That's the same, um, that's the same phrase. It's one of the other graves. All right, I don't know if that's gonna be important. Let's try and go into the building now, though. Obviously, I think the biggest thing that we have to take away from that is that people were digging up graves. The house All of right. God. Doesn't look like their home. Yeah, let's not hang around. Damn, do you realize, do you realize what a hard line you just dropped? In the apocalypse? In the apocalypse? Apocalypse, my dude. <laughs> no, is there gonna be somebody in there? Like a, a like a zombie? There's no one inside. Okay, well, why'd you... Why'd you scare me like that? No, I don't want to do it again. It's empty. Alright, no one to hear our sins. To the glory of God, ten candles are lined up in rows of five. There's a message underneath. Associates of this church Walker themselves to free our path in the service of our Lord and Savior. There's a list of names. Oh, I think those and are the names that were dug up. Our way is written underneath. Because Stillman, too, I remember, because I was going to make a joke about how he was still for the rest of his life. <laughs> He's a man that's still. Item, what do I use here? Oh, do I light them? 
No, are they gonna come alive? Select candles to light. Oh! Uh, um... Stillman, maybe? Walker? What are the other ones I remember? I don't. That's the problem. Helson, I think, was another one? I don't know. Um, I will figure that out. We'll have to go back out and see which ones are dug up. Oh! My god, did they bring the bodies here? Please tell me these are just... I mean, that's still bad, but if they're not alive... It's not as bad. Can I go through these? Uh, that's a window? Or, no, those are doors, but I don't think I can go through them. So somebody was just collecting all of the bodies to put in the pews? Alright, there's something back here. Ammo? <gasps> and a gun? A shotgun has been left on the altar? Take the shotgun, yeah? Yeah, for sure. No. Is there gonna be a boss fight? God, look at this. This is crazy scary. Anything back here? All right, Ben, we gotta go look back at the graves and figure out what this puzzle is trying to tell us. I think it's gonna be uh, whichever bodies either are dug up or are missing. So I gotta write down the names of them. Unless she already has them, maybe I can check my documents and see if they're written there. There's a nothing in my documents, so I'm just gonna check the graves that are undone. Whoa, there's a weeping angel in this place too. Thank you for giving me some ammo. Damn. This city would be very, very pretty, even not in the apocalypse, you know? Okay, so only a specific number of graves actually have lights with them, but it seems like all of them are dug up. So I'm just gonna do the ones, there's like four that I've picked up now that have lights on them. I need to double check this grave. But then once we do that, I'm gonna see if that's um, correct. Cause like, there's no light over there, you know? So I have all of the names that I need. There are five, I think, that all had little candles next to their, um, next to their thing. If I had chosen different options, would Ben not have come with me at all? Or would he have come regardless, I wonder? Ten candles are lined up in rows of five. There's a message underneath. So yeah, five would be half of them. There's a list of uh, item, let's go ahead and use... So I need Tara, TT, Titty, <laughs> Silvery. Um, hers. I need Alexander Harrison, which is right above her. Mike, uh, Kaufman? Mike? Wait, we've seen Mike before in one of the messages. And then also there's the name of Mike in the thing. I don't know if that's just reoccurring for specific reasons or not. Um, okay, and then I need Marcus. Him, so I have four out of five. And then who's the last one? Helson, Charlie Helson. <gasps> Secret tunnel? Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel. Are you ready to rumble? Also, I was thinking as we were walking around the graveyard, Mika is like, uh, her design, stop, stop turning. <laughs> her design is like a combination of Leon Kennedy and um, Ashley from RE4. I'm just saying that because she has a cute little bob and she's blonde. And then she's also wearing this cute little um, jacket that Leon would wear. <laughs> Considering, I, I wonder if there was any inspiration stylistically in that way, considering it was based off of or inspired by like classic survival horror. Of course, not the, the remake per se, since it's like lower poly. Do you have anything to say about all of the bodies here? I'm gonna assume that they were dug up and put here by whoever was doing this. Was it you, Ben? Guess we won't find out right now. Ooh. Another one of Mika's Tax memories? Is sorry to sick. He really cares, you know. Tough guy that's soft as pudding. That's what you said, wasn't it? The boss in better days. 
all those ginkgo suits, sweet talk and our regulars. State paycheck and a roof over your head. It's hard to say no when you're out of options. Fucking boiling pot of bad eggs. I can only imagine what it's like to have been through all of it. You need to know that you're not alone. We're not alone. That pot's boiling over. And soon, they're gonna get burned. Whatever it takes, remember? Are we even seeing Mika's memories? I mean, I know that Mika's involved in all of this, but are are we getting glimpses into Sasha right now? This place is giving me Wherever creeps. she is. Secret underground crypts not normally your thing? Yeah, no. Why not? I, I kind of skipped my goth phase. <laughs> I'm not sure I ever had a goth phase, but I, I like goths. <laughs> I like gothic architecture. I think it's cool. Do goths in the in the sense of like stylistically like gothic architecture i feel like that's a given i i think i might be stuck hello ben you got to get out of my way i think ben's in my way oh crap ben <gasps> thank god okay <laughs> i got out i think ben was blocking me he's my he's my opponent Got some crypts. Oh, and then great. A tunnel made by the flesh monster. Definitely want to go down there, don't we? Can I read any of these? No? You don't want to? Repair spray. Yes. Are those bullets? No. I do have a shotgun now. It didn't give me all that many bullets, but if we run into... I don't know what the like final fight is going to be. <gasps> Wait, is this tunnel going to lead us to where... To like, Is this the other side of that big tunnel that Sasha was in? Maybe not, actually. This looks man-made. I'm scared. Do we have a map? Um. Hello? Weak signal? Why is there just a little little version of the two of them getting attacked? Wait, does that mean <gasps> are you guys in the tunnel right now? I'm scared. Are you scared, Ben? I'm scared. It's like, where are you going? <laughs> I couldn't see. That wasn't a way forward. I'm sorry. This feels haunted. Hello? There's head crabs in this? Ew. I wonder if it just takes over. I don't think I can go in the sewer. I wonder if it just takes over different creatures that are like actually alive. Starts, I mean, obviously. Hello? Oh, oh God. Okay. Can I just go around you? Let's just go around you. All right, Ben, you're you're fending for yourself here, buddy. Um, I just wanna see what's on the other side here. Is the crab alive? Oh no. Okay, I'm on the other side here. We can go around. And it looks like there's some stairs, a body. And, ooh, God, the gate of security chained and woven with intestines? Gross. There are three locks and a dumb symbol painted. <laughs> and a dumb symbol painted on the side. Okay, so I gotta find three different keys then, is what you're telling me? I got some bullets. Revolver ammo has been added. Okay, and then there was something on the other side here. I figured there was gonna be stairs or something. Maybe I should take the time to actually get rid of this one enemy. If I'm gonna have to worry about them. Let's go down here though. And maybe walk. Cause I think there was a big guy somewhere around here. Ooh. Oh God. It's still beating? 
A beating heart was added to my inv- Then. What the heck? <laughs> Resident Stuart Mason. Repair spray has been added to inventory. Public services deceased. Multi-organ failure. Not the heart, apparently. And then there's a thing here. The torn note has been added to documents. They all laughed at me for hiding. They called me irrational. I warned them. I warned them all that it wasn't safe. They didn't want to believe me. First the guns, then the screaming. Then the guns stopped, and then the screaming stopped. I'm all alone now. See, that's the thing. Is it would actually be terrifying to be the last person left in a city like this. That is not only abandoned and um, ruined by whatever biological entity is taking over, but also being targeted specifically by the rest of the survivors. Oh god, really? Oh, really, really, really? Okay, back up, back up, Mika. Is there two of you, Ben? <laughs> should I just get my gun out? I should, shouldn't I? Oh, but I don't want to waste bullets on you. Uh, the shotgun is empty. Do I not even have any? Oh, I have four. Ooh, I really don't want to waste it on you. I haven't saved in forever, though. This is going to be bad. Okay, there's the crab creature. God, I wish I had a map. There's a weak signal. But I got to go back here. Did I end up picking up anything? Okay, come on. Really? 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 Oh, I don't want to use you, though. Damn it. I haven't saved in forever. Can I just get by, you guys? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, the other one is ignoring me. Uh, I'm going to switch back to my melee. I know I need to stop getting into... Oh, God, what is the beating art for? Um, oh, maybe I need to put it... Oh, because there's organs. Maybe I need to put it in the lock somehow. All right, I'm going to equip this again. Oh, you're back? Okay. Can I get you? Can I get you? No, 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 no. Don't, don't get hit. Don't hit. Go, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Come on. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Back up a little bit. Go forward. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever beaten them just with a melee weapon. Really? 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 Really right now? Poop monster? Gross. Disgusting. They haven't hurt me at all yet, so... Ugh, I met these guys, the little, like, leeches, whatever they are. Let's go to the left. See what's down here first. And then we'll go back. Uh, pick up. This is the worst place for me not to have a map. Oh, but, um, I do have a tip. I don't have a tip, but I have a, a, a strategy where we go left-hand side or something. I think I'm going on the right hand. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Ben, let's go this way. Okay, really, guys? Really? Really? Ah! How many health things do I have again? Oh, I have five. Okay. Ben, back up. Ben, back up. Oh my god, there's a lot of you guys. Ah! Why are you ganging up on me? Go after Ben, not me. Can I go back this way? I can't. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't want to waste my revolver ammo. Okay. All right. Bestie, you're gonna have to, um, okay, his head is off. Ah! Come on. Okay. This is going bad, this is going bad, this is going bad. It's going okay, it's going okay, actually, I lied. It's going okay, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Stop. There's one more of you. I remember there was one more. Ambush him. Oh, really? Really, really. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah! <laughs> I'm so scared. I should just use my gun. But it's the better of the two weapons because it's long range. Where is my health? All right, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, Mika. 
Get him, Mika! Get him, Mika! Yes! Yes! Why do you sometimes not go after him? Woo! Perfect. That was perfect. It wasn't perfect. It was actually really bad. I wasted two of my health, and I don't have another save. Can we get another call from the creepy person? Okay, they are giving me revolver ammo, which probably means that I need to use it. I also think that there might be a big guy around here somewhere. Okay, let's go down blood. Another beating heart? It's still beating. Pulsing beating heart added to inventory, excuse me. Oh, okay. Not without sacrifice though, not without sacrifice. Is this gonna lead me back or, wait, where did I come from? Where am I going? I think I came from that area. So let's go over here to this area first. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I'm kind of just following the blood trails. Ammo added to inventory, okay. Oh no, I'm getting, wait, it actually legitimately is a maze, isn't it? This isn't where I was. Oh crap, I'm gonna get so lost. Okay, let's just go, let's just keep going. Let's just keep, oh! It has no pulse. Dead heart added to inventory. Okay. See, here's the trick. Now we have to get out of here. I don't know. We're stuck in the catacombs. The only good part is, is I did save my revolver ammo. Okay, do I need to go back there? No, I already went in here, didn't I? Oh, another one? Oh, it's still beating. I thought I only needed three. And what is this? Oh, 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 no, that's not something to pick up. Okay. What is this moist sound effect? It kept me from exploring this before because I got scared. Uh, no, other way. Other way, Mika. The beating hearts have to have something to do with the locks. I'm assuming that there might be keys in them. Or I'm going to have to attach them to the intestines in some way, shape, or form when we go back around. All right, I haven't checked out this area. No, I have! We're here! Okay, I think I can find my way back. This is different. Hold on a second. And why is the music doing that? And why? I'm sorry, what? The game is... Okay. Pick up? Can I use the hearts or something? Why is the music doing that? Inspect? I don't remember picking this up. You don't? Why is it beating so fast? I've got no use for it here. Oh my god, you're scaring the crap out of me. Can I- can you get the crab? Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him, honey! Get him, honey! Get him, honey! This is sad. This is really sad. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, Ben, you scared the sh- oh! So what exactly am I supposed to be doing right now? Okay, I just stepped on him. And I haven't had a save, and I haven't had a save, and I haven't had a save. Uh, uh. Do I go back here? This is where I was before. There was a zombie creature here though. Or I thought there was. Do I have to go over to the left? No way. That's just gonna take me back into the things. Oh god, what do I do? The music! The music, why are you- <gasps> This is a completely different hallway. Alright, should I just get the shotgun? Just get the shotgun out. Just get the shotgun out. Oh, crap. Can I go back? Ben is gone. Ben, bestie. No way. No way. Oh, dead heart, beating heart, pulsating heart. I don't remember picking this up. Hold on. Uh, let's get the gun out, shall we? <sighs> okay. Um, I'm going to combine with some ammo. Here we go. Big guy, big guy, you're getting the bullets. Oh God. 
They remind me of the stuff from Silent Hill, too. Ew, gross. Um, okay, I used that. Should I switch back to my melee weapon? What's behind you? I could have sworn there was somebody else here. There is. All right, Ben's gone. We can do this, we can do this. It only takes you like five hits and then stomp. Oh my God, Ben, what the freak? What the freak? You can't just come out of the shadows like that and scare me. That's mean. That's a thing a mean person does. He just creeps out of nowhere while I'm like freaking hallucinating. We're going in circles. No way. No way. I can't do this. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Are you not scared, Mika? <sighs> All right. I know I'm running and we might run into a monster. We might bypass a monster too, though. Think about it like that. Do I have to turn around? I'm gonna give it like three more turns. One turn. Two turns. Ah! Okay. Where are we now? Is this the place I'm supposed to be? Are we ever gonna make it back to where we were? Where am I now? Am I back? Wait, this is completely different. Was I just hallucinating the whole time? Okay, I can stop freaking out a little bit, hopefully. Oh, there's somebody here. That doesn't bode well for us though. Classified, classified void. Oh, and there's some bullets though. Am I infected? I bet I'm infected. Ben, can you tell me more? I don't know that he can. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna go back in there at the risk of hallucinating again, even though I think it'd be, ugh, would it be interesting to see? I just don't have a save. I'll just, I'll just check really quick. If there's nothing interesting, we'll come back. All righty, let's go. Ben's not looking too good. But I guess we're not either, per se. <laughs> All right, we've made it to maybe the outskirts of the city. For the city. Yeah, boy, here we are. You can pay me to go back down there. Come on, let's keep moving. Let's do it. Can I actually go back down there? <laughs> you couldn't pay me to go back down there. So let's go back down there. First things first, we're gonna check this door. Okay, I don't think we can get in there. Where even did we come out of? This is crazy. The catacombs lead us to. Um, see if there's anything here. Is that health? Thought I could use some health. I mean, I'm doing pretty good, but it's always better to have um, more than less in these games. Oops, oh, sorry, I accidentally stomped on your face. Revolver ammo, and some here, added to inventory, and then this is still gonna be classified, isn't it? Is it? Oh, I see somebody oh. in the back. Hello? Oh, come on, really? Really? Um, uh, I'm gonna equip. Okay, really? Come on, come on. I think I just need to run away from them. I'm not gonna waste bullets on them. Um, I just wanted to see if I could actually see what that person was doing. Also, why did I keep the yo-yo here, I wonder? Anyway, let's go. Well, now that you've, uh, you've hit me. What is that? Oh, that's you. You're making noises. So we can go straight forward there. I'm kind of curious as to see what's over here though. Oh, save. Oh, thank God. Where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? <gasps> Did I just die? Oh, it auto-saved me. It auto-saved me. Thank God. Oh my God. I was going to be... Oh, it's been... Literally, the park was the last time that we saved. God, I don't know what I'd do without auto-save. Thank you. Give me the save. Preferably not next to a dog. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. Can you guys leave me alone? <laughs> Here we go. 
Funny you should ask. I do not care. You look like you've seen it first. I don't know what's real anymore. They keep coming. Oh dear. They were doing so well. It's a shame you're not cut out for this. Fuck you. Such a filthy mouth for such a pretty little thing. Why do you keep picking up? Uh, I just want to find her. Tell me. Is she still alive? Oh, fuck. What am I saying? I, I can't stay here. Just get moving. You've not got long left. I'm beginning to think that we're not going to end up finding Sasha. It's making me worried, at least. Um, because, oh god, the dogs keep coming after me. Um, just because she's already starting to, like, hallucinate, it seems like. Really, 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 guys. Really, you can't give me a little bit of a break. Um, alright, use. Keep going. I swear to god, if you get hit again right when I'm doing this. Um, because we're already starting to, like, kind of hallucinate. I don't think there's anything over here. And we're not, it doesn't seem like we're any closer. Like I'm not seeing the familiar tan uh, environment. Hey, there's a painting here. Can I go down this way? Where am I going anyway? I feel like uh, maybe there's a map for this area, but also maybe not. All right, let's go back this way. Ben, you still, you still with me, buddy? Beginning to think no. Void. All of these are classified. I don't know if some of them have things on their body. Are you a uh, health? No. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, I heard them coming too. Mm, okay. I'm gonna go around you guys. Thank you very much. Is that one transforming, like actively? And then there's nothing over here. It didn't seem like. These are just different perspectives. Whoa, some of them sound, some of them sound like electronic. Like there is a, um, not the dogs, not the dogs, not the dogs. Like there is an aspect to them that's like radio within radio frequency, which is kind of cool because Mika had the radio uh, malfunctioning and was trying to get in contact with, um, Trex, was it? All right, let's go down this way. This looks promising. Not that, though. What are you? Just a shopping cart? No trespassing? Well, wh well where do I tr trespass to? She says. The Italian- Oh, star! Wait, here? Also, there's some bullets. Revolver ammo has been added to inventory and then someone was here. I don't think they have any documents for me. All right, let's go. <gasps> I figured there's a lot of red light here. Snacks, crisps, and nuts. Oh, God. Go back, go back, go back. Come on. Come on. We can melee. We can melee. Show them what we learned. I know there's two of you near me. You also gave me a lot of revolver ammo. All right, get them. There's a dog in here too? Really? Oh God, do the health, do the health, health spray. It'd be really awesome if you gave me some health spray though. There's somebody behind the counter. Damn. This is stressful. Stressful as heck. What are these? A pack of fuses hanging on a display stand? Yeah, take them. Don't need any of this other stuff? Why not? Do you have the inventory space for it? Take it, babe. Okay, there's something here. There's something here. I knew it. Okay, are you still here? What is going on? Stop it. What do you see? 
All right, we got some ammo. Just go. You know what? Just go. Use. Ooh, oh, of course. It never ends. It never ends. It never ends, does it? Their arms are so skinny, and it looks like the infection almost starts or, like, manifests in their hands. All right, sorry, Ben. I'm completely out of healing spray after this. I just need to use the thing, don't I? Damn it. Really? Ugh, equip. All right. Sorry about that, Ben. <laughs> Newspaper article has been added to documents. Tensions rise as Sherwood Project faces scrutiny in Barnston. Um, Barnston, May 4th, 2063. Sherwood's ambitions revitalization project in Barnston, once hailed as a beacon of hope, now faces growing discontent from residents as construction advances. The initial enthusiasm surrounding the initiative has given way to frustration and skepticism with locals voicing concerns about disruptions and unmet promises. Months into the project's implementation, Branston's residents have become experiencing the practical implications of ambitious overhaul. Construction sites dotting the city have caused significant disruptions affecting daily routines and businesses. Many residents, initially hopeful for employment opportunities, lament the slow pace of job creation, exacerbating existing financial strains. Sherwood, the driving force behind the endeavor, has faced mounting criticism over perceived delays and inadequate community engagement. CEO Sarah Reynolds acknowledged the challenges. We understand the concerns of the community. Our aims remain to bring positive change, but we acknowledge the setbacks, stated Reynolds in a response to growing discontent. As frustrations escalate, the residents call for greater transparency and tangible progress from Sherwood. The charity now faces a critical juncture with public sentiment shifting and rising discontent, highlighting the complexities of executing large-scale projects in local communities. For inquiries, uh, do this and then contributing writer. Okay, we got some more newspapers. Is there someone more around here? Ugh. This is stressful. Horror games can be stressful, man. There's no power running to the shutter. Mm, how do I get to it? Use? Oh, the fuses. That's what I needed to do. Okay, um, I can find a replacement. Yes, I have one right here, baby. Pack of fuses. Okay, it's interesting how my like inventory screen seems to be glitching a little bit. I think that that's intentional. Considering the technology seems to be um, messing up. Also, I saw some, yes, shotgun ammo over here. All right, let's go. You ready, Ben? Let's do it. I almost wish I could save. I could go back and try and save, but I also risk- The station's not far now. I think we're just a couple of streets over. Good. Nice. Let's keep going. Too far from oh. the Okay. If you could give me some help, I would love you forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. Anything. Literally anything. I'm gonna get stuck back here with a dog. Alright, we're running. Is this health? No, it's but it's lore. We gotta we gotta sacrifice for it. Uh letter. Discarded letter. Hey Casey, it's been a while. I have no idea if this will even get to you, but we've been out of power for weeks. Things here in Barnston are really going to shit, like more than normal. The high streets all boarded up, businesses are just there one day and empty the next like everything's gone please uh is starting to look please is starting to look like a ghost town this is the uh freaking opposite of what they promised people are saying some folks have gone missing everyone's on edge sherwood brought in their own security crew and now feels like we are walking all walking on eggshells uh people are keeping to themselves afraid to even step outside i'm feeling pretty on edge too it's like a whole city's holding its breath drop me a line when you can take care of ben ben Ben, was this you? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the little nickname that I keep giving him. Okay, there's a big guy there. Um, and I think you're keeping me from going where I need to, apparently. So let's turn around. Can I get past you? Freaka. So scary. Oh my god, no! Don't tell me! Don't tell me there's a... A thing here? A radio? <laughs> The interference is too strong. Okay, I also gotta... I'm gonna run out of health, though. Have I already? No, I already have. 
Oh, I'm so screwed. All right, we just gotta keep running then. Not stopping for anything. Oh. Okay, what is down here though? Revolver ammo has been added. And I don't think there's anything back here. Um, okay, all right. I gotta stay away from the big guy, I know that much. The big guy, and if I can avoid getting hit by any of the dogs. All right, all right, all right, I see you coming. Okay, time to go. No, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, oh, freak. That sets me so far back. That sets me so far back. Damn. Oh, there's a Kotak thing here. Okay. Maybe it was a good thing that, um, <laughs> that I died. So, uh, let's listen to it. Alright, use. I'm the sixth signal. Um, okay, I don't know if I missed one in between there. I can't remember if I got the fifth one. But it sounds like they were trying to forcefully remove people, obviously. And if they didn't, well, I'm not sure they're here anymore. Um, can I look at you? I got some revolver ammo. That's really nice. Classified. Okay, I'm gonna go back and pick up some of the stuff and then go back to where I was. Um, in the other area. Hopefully I can pick up some health too. That would be that would be very nice. I made it back out of the garage here and I think I still have two the healing not items. Far now. I think we're just a couple of streets over. Okay. Um so I'm not gonna waste any time here. I'm gonna pick up this document. And we're just gonna run, okay? Because there's some dogs here. If I see anything to pick up, I will try to quickly pick it up. But otherwise, like, over there, I don't think there's anything. I mean, oh, of course I see that. Okay, I just wanted to get the revolver ammo so that I could have it. All right, there's a big guy over there. He's really fast. I'm just going to ignore you. I'm going to turn this back on, too. Excuse me. Thank you very much. All right. And then some more dogs. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I might miss out on some... Um, oh god, oh god, there's so many of them. I might miss out on some things, but right now, in this mode, I really just kind of want to get out of here safely and alive. Unless there's some health or something. No, of course not. Oh, but there's a little playground here. Can I go in here? Maybe? Oh, there's a Kotak. Okay, let's do the Kotak then. We'll get one of these, and then I'll figure out where I'm going. <laughs> oh, does it tell me on the map, too? Let's just do the Kotak first, and then I'll look at my map. Am I gonna die? I hear them coming after me still. Struggling with the change. This park is with girls and boys. 
Damn. <laughs> I'm wondering if these memories are before before they like built the new city based on all of this or after. I'm not going to try and go up because I have one of the big creatures coming after me. I mean, I guess I could see there's something here. Oh, there is something here, though. All right, I got some bullets. Can I actually go up? OK, no, I can't. I was wondering because we were looking at it as we were doing this. So let me open up the map. Is it actually going to tell me where I need to go? So those are all blocked off. That's blocked off. Damn, this is a big city. So I need to go back down over here and through this area? Whoa, wait, where do I actually go? How do I zoom out? It didn't make me zoom out that much. And there's an eyeball still back here. Oh, okay, so there it is on the map. So I basically just have to go straight forward from where I am, kind of over to the right a little bit, and then keep going down that street. Okay, there's a big guy. There's a big guy. So let's not mess around with him right now. Um, oh, hey, Ben, you scared me. There's another big guy. Oh, crap, you guys suck, actually. Oh, God. I wish you ran faster. That's the one thing. If we, if you ever had foresight that there might be some sort of apocalyptic event, I definitely feel like... Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go system critical. I don't want to die again. I don't want to die again. Okay, nope, nope, not that way, not that way, not that way. God, these roadblocks suck! Ooh! Ooh, you're so scary. That's not a box I can break. Okay. Where do I need to go? Kind of over to the right, I remember. Okay. A little bit over to the right, and then... Am I even going the right way? Open up the map. Where am I? Yes, I am. Okay, so I just gotta get through these roadblocks. If I can just do this. Ooh, if I can just do this without getting hit. Maybe I should get the gun out, but I don't wanna wait. Ah. Stressful, stressful. I'm so full of stress right now. I could use someone like Shelly to tell me it'll be okay. There were some bullets there. It's not worth going back for, though. There's a document. Delay notice has been added to document. Sherwood Estate Management uh, prolonged de delays in construction process. Dear resident, we have been made aware of some frustrations caused by the reasonable delays in Bardston construction project. We apologize for the extended inconvenience experienced due to prolonged road closures and diversions. Continuous construction-related disturbances, ongoing limitations in accessing certain areas. We acknowledge these challenges are actively taking steps to expedite the process, conducting a thorough review of construction timeline, allocating additional resources to expedite pending phases, improving communication for regular progress updates. Your patient in this period is appreciated. Um, commitment, and then Arthur Levitt is the person who um, signed that for us. All right, there's two of you. I can get past you, though. All right, we have a long road. It looks like it might be... Is this... Can I go this way? I can. That's just rubble. So, sure, what is... It, it seems like the big bad, doesn't it? Employment poster added to documents. John Sherwood's success story, or join Sherwood's success story positions in both commercial and industrial sectors, competitive salaries and benefits, be a pioneer in Sherwood's growth, innovation, community growth, shape Barnston's future with us uh, by joining today. All right, can I go down here? Is there gonna be anything though? I don't see any documents. I feel like that's just an opportunity for me to get trapped. God, you're so scary. And then there's a construction entrance here. Is this where I'm going? It says chasing static in the back. Oh, this must be where I'm going. Is it? Are you gonna autosave me? You're not! Oh, it is where I'm going though. Uh, cause on the map, there's just an area back there. Do I wanna, I have one more healing item so I could risk going back. Let's do it. As long as I don't immediately get hit with somebody here, it should be okay. All right, no, I need you to go this way and show me where I'm going. I swear, if it's just like like six revolver bullets, it's definitely not going to be worth it. But if there's a healing item, it would be worth it. Healing item? No, damn. 
so once we're down here, it seems like we're in the subway system. Yeah, I just gotta go kind of this way, I think. Let's see what we can find, if anything. Is there anybody here? Kingsway Court. Okay. And then a lot of rubble. And what is this? A photo booth? Can I take a photo? I think not. I don't think he's up for it. All right, Ben. We've done enough exploring today, I think. I think I'm ready to find um, somebody other than zombies. Maybe we can all be uh, best friends. What do you say? All right, let's go down. Another memory. I need to tell you something. When we talked, no, when we fought that night. It wasn't that I didn't understand. I knew, I know how much this meant to you. I just couldn't bear to not be there. To not be by your side. To support you when you need it most. I shouldn't have let it get to me. It was selfish. You'd made your mind up and I respect that. I just wish things had been different. For all of us. So, Is that uh, Mika? Which way now? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's go here, I guess, because it's gonna give me revolver ammo. Thank you very much. Ooh, I don't like that we haven't saved in a long time. Can I hear that beautiful phone ringing again? You don't want to, huh? What are these tickets? There's no power running to the ticket machine. Do I have to get power to it? Is that a thing? <gasps> I hear a phone ringing. There's somebody here. Can I do anything? Where's the phone ringing? Is the phone ringing down here? I gotta find the phone. I gotta find the phone, Ben. Is this health too? Oh, yes. Where is it? <gasps> Another health. Uh, seek. There's a lot of boxes, mostly bottled water and medical supplies. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. I know you're there. I can hear you breathing. That's so much I can feel you. Do you ever give it up? I'm getting out of here. You'll never see me again. No, not yet. We have unfinished business. Jeez, oh, just talk straight for once. I don't know you. I don't care to know you. You're hurting my feelings. Just tell me, please. What's going on here? Really? Now that would spoil the surprise. <laughs> you don't know shit, do you? You're just as lost as I am. Sad. And alone. You're scared. Your voice is trembling. I'm not scared. I'm just... I'm fucking tired. I want my friend back and... I, I want to go home. Home is where the heart is. Can you hear it? Beating. No, the hallucinations. Yeah, I'm done with your creepy stalker shit. I'm leaving. Have a nice life. Interesting. All right, we just saved various building supplies. It looks like they never finished the job. They gave me two health, and I don't know if it's just because we started on a new section or if because I'm actually going to need it. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, oh, whoa! 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 Okay. Can I just get you with a melee weapon? There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Oh! Oh, this is bad. Okay. All right. You know what? Um, God, you s just saved me, and then now I'm dead. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. That could have gone better. I'll admit, I could have done better there. Since I just saved, I'm actually gonna go down this way. There's some blood stains, and I have a feeling... Okay, so there's some bullets. Do they both go to the same area, though? Do they both go down? Okay, so there's a monster here. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh god, you're so scary! You guys really are scary. I think it's best to just, um, bypass them. Alright, I can't pick that up. And now I'm down here. Could I have gone the other way? Ah! Uh, the red way? Excuse me, who is laughing at me? That was creepy. What's down the other way then? Wait, should I have seen what's down the other way? There's a bathroom here. Spray has been added to the inventory because there was like a hallway with red lights. I always, ugh, it's locked. Are you gonna do the Silent Hill jump scare when I run away? It goes, ah! <laughs> no. Um, do I wanna see what's down the other hallway? Let's see what's in this door first though. This other door that's... Okay, sorry, interrupting your bathroom time. Um, I picked up a ton of guns, though. Are there two of you? No, there's just one. I don't want to waste any more bullets on you. This was bad, actually. Um, I'm gonna go back to my save and see what's down that other hallway. All right, let's see. Uh, not this one. We're going for this one. And there's probably going to be one of the big guys coming after me, but I don't care because I want to see. Uh, I want to see what's down here. And if it leads me to the same place, then at least I know it leads me to the same place, you know? Oh, God. Oh, God. Ew. Uh, disgusting. All right, no, this is different. This is different. This is more... Not, don't do that. Okay, and then there's a body here. So where is this? Does this lead me to the same place? No, weird. It's like, w there's a lot more people here. But there's a bathroom. It's like a mirror opposite of the other place. I wonder if I just made a choice by doing that. By going back down this way? I guess this is more the more interesting of the two. It's locked. Is there anything in here? Just a regular toilet? Pretty clean, all things considered. You guys need a potty break? Or not now? Is there something in here? Urinals for people who pee standing up. Insightful. And then we have to check the other door. There's a lot of bodies here. Um, okay. There's nobody in this one. Locked. I don't think I see anything here. Oh no! Confidentiality letter has been added to document. Subject strengthening confidentiality measures and monitoring. It has recently come to our notice that there have been several instances where confidentiality has been breached with details pertaining to the work on Kingsway Court spreading outside of our organization. Uh, the protection of sensitive data is of utmost importance to ECHO initiatives and its subsidiaries. Any compromise in this area poses a significant threat to our clients, our reputation, and the trust they place in our services. Upon a thorough investigation, we have identified and taken decisive action against those individuals suspected to be involved. We are embarking on a series of initiatives aimed at fortifying our internal controls and ensuring confidentiality of our data. These measures encompass access controls. We will be reviewing and tightening access permissions to ensure that only authorized personnel have access to sensitive information. Necessary 
necessary for their roles, enhance monitoring, implementing more robust monitoring systems to detect any unauthorized access or potential breaches swiftly, anonymous reporting channels and reward system, establishing confidential channels to encourage and facilitate reporting of any suspicious activities or breaches, ensuring anonymity and protection for those who come forward. Your cooperation and vigilance is upholding the confidentiality of our work um, in upholding the confidentiality of our work are vital. Thank you for your understanding. Sincerely, Upper. Echo initiatives. Interesting. Okay. Regular toilet. And these are going to be locked, I bet. Okay. So, I'm kind of glad that we came here because I always love a good good bit of information for us. And then I think there was something here, too. Can I seek this? There's blood all over the wall. It's like these people were lined up and... Yeah, I don't think all of the death here was due to uh, whatever anomaly there was. Okay, but my death is gonna be because of that anomaly. Those guys suck. The big, like, pimple guys. All right, really? Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, okay, I'm good. Where are we going to? Where are we going to, bestie? This way? Got some more bullets. Um, I can go here. Let's go back, though. One, because I see... Uh, I don't think I can get past here. All of that is classified. It's so interesting because there is the people who it seemed like were murdered by um, them. Oh, God. All right, it's time to go. <laughs> there wasn't anything on the other side, right? I'm trying to remember. When I went to the other side, there was just, um, I don't think there was any documents. I mean, there could have been something. I kind of just want to move forward, though. Uh, I think I'm going to move forward with this. I'll wait here. Don't be long. Where am I going to? You'll wait there with the monster that was coming after you? Okay, I guess he leaves Ben alone. Maybe it's because he's infected. It's completely blocked off. So what am I supposed- Oh, there's a door. Okay. Some more ammo. I really like that they're giving me a lot of ammo. I don't know how much shotgun ammo I have. I'm definitely going to save that for when I feel like there's going to be like a- Another fuse that looks just like one of these. Oh, yay! I have a whole thing of these. I feel like we should have two remaining fuses. Hmm. Okay. Seems like <gasps> I did the trick. The station should have power now. Does that mean that the thing is um, going to be covered in electricity now? Like you're going to get electrocuted when you get out of here? I feel like that might be the case. Um, all right, that all looks the same. Oh, hey. Can I actually shoot you just from here? I don't know that this is doing anything. I don't want to waste bullets either. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I think that was worth it. Probably. I picked up a lot of bullets just for him to be gone. So I have to go over uh, back upstairs, maybe? It's kind of hard to see um, the different levels. It seems like it's almost through the bathrooms. Is there another tunnel I need to go through? Because um, there was this stuff. I think this was the other area on the right. So maybe I need to go back there. It's just I would love an opportunity to save again. Well, maybe that's why we go back, though, because there would be an opportunity to save. Okay, let's try it. Ben, excuse me. Maybe I shouldn't have picked him up. Kotek! <gasps> okay, good thing, good thing he waits for me to listen to my little radio memory. <laughs> What, the train? Not gonna ask you again. Return to your homes. How do you sleep at night? Look at us. We're starving. 
starving to death in here. You cut off our water supply and then make us fight over your stupid bottles. Guys, it's leaving. Stand down right now. Oh my god. I found the eighth signal. Um, damn. Okay. Damn. <laughs> um, so, wait a second. I'm gonna look at the map again. I We're definitely getting a bigger picture of everything that's going on here. Oh, so what I need to do is I, need, I do need to go to the other side. So I needed to come here first, but I need to go back to the other side. Where is that room? there that I just went into. Is that... Oh, that's the room that I just went into to turn the power back on, I think. So I need to come back upstairs, go down the other side to there, all while staying alive. Ooh, okay. Um, let's do it. I'm gonna get him to come back over here. The changing perspectives, the cinema, uh, the cinema. Oh, really? 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 No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> I think I should have done the easier difficulty. Okay, I just used my last healing spray, but I'm making it out of here. I'm making out, out out of here if it's the last thing I do. Come on, come on, come on. And it probably will be. Damn, this is tough. Okay, I can't get hit anymore and I wasted a ton of bullets too trying to defend myself just cause on, that, on the stairs there, maybe I needed to get rid of them with a melee weapon on my way down. Oh man, I should save. But on the stairs, they all kind of gang up on you. Um, okay. Whoo! That was tough. Okay, let's go. To the other side. To the other side. I'm sure that there's gonna be uh, people coming after me on this side too, but we just gotta make it through. Do you know what I mean? We don't have to like come back this way, I think, once we're done. Don't have to pick anything up there. So I'm just gonna leave these guys to uh, scream at each other. Can I pick up this? No. All right, uh, let's go back to the bathrooms here, because I remember you, bitch. Because um, I remember there was the bathrooms here. And then there's somebody like giggling. Is that in one of the bathrooms? Oh, that is one. Oh, but then when I go in there, there's the monster in the other one. I remember. Is this a healing spray? Oh, uh, that's part of the reason to come into this bathroom. Okay, really nice. And then there's nothing in these. Yeah, see, we just gotta go through the subway to the bottom there, all the way to the other side. And then it should take us out, I think. So let's check out this bathroom. I know that there's gonna be one of you in here. Ah, ah, ah! All right, let's do a melee weapon. Ah, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Oh god, it's so tough. It's so tough. It seems like I'm just complaining and I totally am, but it's so tough. <gasps> There's another one! There's another one! There's another one! Oh, babe, come on, we can't afford it. We can't afford to get the... Look at Ben. You done? I wasted so many bullets. God, I hope that there's not a boss fight or something after this. <laughs> Was there, is there gonna be some? So there's a resident, Jamie Grace. It's locked. What about this? Just another toilet? Why do it like that? Why would you do that? Why'd you do it like that? It's locked. 
Okay, okay. Yes, I understand there's a resident. This one's locked. Oh no. Ugh, what a way to die. Body lies slumped over the toilet bowl. Move the body? Oh my god. Two gold coins have been placed in his eye socket. Take the gold coins? I guess so. Do I have to get a ticket? I do, don't I? I can feel him watching me. Is he gonna reanimate? All right, let's check these. Locked. Locked. Okay. There was somebody laughing at me when, um, and it sounded like it was coming from this bathroom when we were here before. So I'm in caution. Can I just, should I just use the health that I have? Did I already use it? No, I still have repair spray. And then I have this. Uh, do I even have to get a ticket? I do have to get a ticket, don't I? So I have to go, I have to go back up? Or can I get a ticket down here? Oh, come on, guys. All right, let's see. I have to get a ticket, don't I? Ooh, it seems to be working now. I'll need a ticket. Oh, oh, really? Oh, really, you say that, huh? Okay. Let's go get a ticket then. I see a document. Hold on. Hold on. Get out of my way. Maintenance notice. Entry to Westbound Tunnel is strictly prohibited. They have been temporarily, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, let's switch to the melee weapon. Oh, not like that. Not like that! No! <laughs> Okay, here's the moment of truth. I actually spent the time to like get some of these enemies so that they wouldn't be here stalking me and I wanted to see if they would respawn. It looks like I'm okay right now. I really just wanna go back and get to a save point where I have the gold coins. Cause then I feel like I can come back here. So yeah, okay, now it's nice and smooth. The uh, melee weapon, I feel like there has to be a little dance. You have to know the controls very well, the uh, tank controls, in order not to get hit and also anticipate when they're gonna come after you. So it takes a little bit of skill and a little bit of focus, but it's not too bad. And with that being done, where do I need to get tickets from again? How do I get tickets? Oh, here we go, it's through here. Okay. Seems to be working now. Um, all right, gold coins. This is the most expensive subway trip to ever exist. Train ticket, it only goes one way. Take the train ticket, yeah. All right, train ticket has been added to inventory. We only have one Ben, so I uh, hope you have some gold coins on you. <laughs> um, so I have to go back down this way and all of the enemies should be, I mean, I'm sure that something is gonna respawn at this point, actually. But we should be good to just go down. Got the little crab creatures. Those don't seem to hurt me though. All that much. The scariest ones right now are like the, I'll just call them the like pimple creatures. The ones that kind of pop. Um, they're the ones that are the most bloated. They, they don't look really like human anymore. They kind of remind me of the Silent Hill, um, like the first creatures you see in Silent Hill 2. All right, you ready, Ben? Let's go. It seems to be working now, I'll need a ticket. Well, guess who has one? I also don't have any health left. So, we'll see. Okay, I should be able to enter the platform now. Look at this little... <laughs> All right, new section, baby. Where are we off to, Ben? And does it have health? I think we actually have to take Oh, I think we're just walking. I was thinking maybe we like actually get on the subway. Revolver ammo, that's good. Cause I used up all my revolver ammo um, <laughs> trying to uh, defend myself at that other section. It's like legitimately tough when you can't just bas uh, bypass the enemies. A lot of times you can just keep running. And that's, that's my strategy. Cause I, I guess it depends on what you're skilled at doing, right? If you're really skilled at combat, then you might want to spend the t extra time to do that, but 
I'm very skilled at being scared and running away and hiding. This feels like a great place to hallucinate. <laughs> Something weird gonna happen or no? There's a light flickering. I have to do something here. Ben, you feeling a little weird? I'm feeling a little weird right now. What is this? Whoa. <gasps> a deep hole has swallowed the rail line. Do you think she's down there? Your friend? Eastbound tunnel, two miles in. She's here. It's a long way. You sure about this? <laughs> you sound like tax. Your friend from the city on the waves? He called it a one-way trip. Begged me not to go. I'm glad you did. I'll wait here for you. Please, come back. I'll be oh back God, before you know it. Take Actually, friends, yay! Climb down? Yeah. I'll wait for you here. Let's do it. Be careful down there. <laughs> Was that Ben there? There's a little guy that came out. Oh, damn, okay. When I when I saw the big hole, I was like, yes. What is this place? This is where Sasha is going to be. Auto saved? Yes. That's what I was waiting for. I'm not sure there's going to be... Okay, so we have three different pathways. Or just two. We have two different pathways we can go to. Let's go here. Let's just explore. I guess uh, we can just look to the right. There's like a thing where you can hug the wall when you're in a maze and figure out where you're going. So maybe let's do that for now. Because I doubt that I'm going to have a map. So let's hug, hug the right-hand side of the wall until we get around. Is that a person? Oh no, that looks like the suits they were wearing in the very beginning. Are these meat walls, by the way? Is this all meat? It's so funny and a little bit ironic, I guess, that the uh, flesh that we had seen was more gray-toned and now down here where it's supposed to be like rock, it's more red. All right, there's a lot more of this. And what are you? <gasps> repair spray, repair spray. I love me some repair spray. There's another person. How many people have fallen victim to this? How do we know one of these people isn't Sasha, by the way? All right, hug in the right wall. That's my plan. Go down there. Let's see what's here, though. Sounds like there's water, too. Are we underneath the ocean? I didn't think the city was all that close to it, though. Ooh. Do I want to see the rest of the cave before we uh, encounter whatever this is? I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger right next to the cliff. Don't worry, we'll come back very soon. I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything with the rest of the cave. And of course, if there's nothing interesting, then we'll just magically be transported back to that area through the power of editing. But I want to take the time to actually, to actually look. Because I feel like we've learned a lot about Sherwood and some of the other uh, entities here. There's Sherwood, there's Nanotech. There's a lot of different things at play, actually. Um, Sherwood seems like the big bad, though. They seem like the ones that were, like, forcing people out, uh, doing all this kind of construction and everything else here. Repair spray! Oh god, the wall is pulsating. There's a heartbeat. It's like it's feeding on the, um, the bodies. But the bodies aren't transformed like they are above. Is that because we're like, are we in a heart right now? Wait a second. Are we in the thing's heart? Like the aorta? 
We're in one of the chambers. I feel like that could be it. Oh my god. How many researchers did they willingly send in here? Did they even know that they're here? I mean, I know they probably know they're missing. There's one there. Okay, now I'm getting lost. All right, I think this is, uh, I think this is it. Oh my God. Is that Mark or Sasha or another third person we don't know? Pick up. Oh my God. A detonator hangs clutched in the researcher's hand. Take the detonator. It's been added to inventory. Tap Y to use detonator. What a way to go. Am I near one? Oh God, okay, probably not the best idea to do that. <gasps> What's happening? No. Oh, no. So we're gonna have to run and detonate at the same time. Okay, time to go. Time to go, time to run. Time to run, baby. Press that to look behind you. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. Can we detonate the C4? Can we detonate the C4? Oh, okay, so don't just spam it. Don't just spam it. We gotta find out where they are. Okay, we're gonna go down here. Oh, crap, I've already messed up, haven't I? Oh, I exploded myself. Are they just on the corners? I gotta make note of where they are. Okay, wait, actually, I might have to do this again. How do I know where they are? Oh my god, he's so scary. Back this way? Is this one? This is one. This is one. Oh, I got myself too. God, it's like a spider! It's like a spider! How many times do I have to get him? Too many times, I bet. Too many times. I can't, I literally can't stop. The music is really cool. Am I gonna be able to do this or do I have to start over at some point? I think I might have detonated all of the ones that I already had. I don't think this is one. Um, well, <laughs> this is interesting. I think I might have messed up real bad. Oh, and I, do, oh, uh, you know what? After that, I deserve it. Let's try that again. I, I deserve to die that time. That was bad. That was, that was, that was um, painful to experience. I'm sure it was painful to watch. So all of the C4 are labeled with that light and the barrels. The question that I have is, um, do I have to detonate all of them perfectly? Probably not, right? That feels like it would be too much because if you mess up even once and you would have to start over again. All right, let's do it. Oh God, we don't even get to see where it comes from. It looks like a big flea or tick almost. Okay, and then we can look behind us. I'm not gonna do it yet. I know that there's one C4 at the end of this hallway, right there. So we're gonna go here. And then detonate. I think I got him. All right, I have to make sure he's coming after me. And then we'll go here. I see a health spray. I don't think I'm gonna use it yet though. I think I got him, yes, this is perfect. I kind of don't want to lose him though. There we go, okay, he's fast. All right, come here. Come here, big boy. Got him. All right, I think I go around here. I don't want to run into him though. So hopefully he follows me. 
Ooh, we go around. Oh God, he's so fast. When did you get so fast? Oh, one over here. There's one over here. There's one over here. Did I just die? Oh, he just died. Am I okay though? Okay. <laughs> if you go down, I'm going with you, I guess. Ew. God, look at the creature design though. Cause the spikes remind me of some sort of sea creature. Like some sort of like aquatic crab. And then the face is, it reminds me of, um, I don't know, the head crabs, but then also, um, I don't know. But then these things remind me of like bat wings. Maybe I shouldn't sit around here waiting for it to wake up again. I am gonna use a repair spray since I accidentally C4 to myself. Um, that's pretty good. There was a repair spray around here. I don't know. Where do I go now, though? Do I just have to go back to where he was? I hope he doesn't wake up again. Not before I get a little phone call from my hive mind best friend. Uh, was it down here? I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna wander lost for a little bit <laughs> until I figure out where I'm going. The only th place I can think is to go back here where the creature was. I could be wrong though. I think I might be wrong. Pick up? Oh no! A hole has formed. Crawl through? Sure. I'd love to. <laughs> Sasha. Wait, what? Time stood still as I limped towards her? Her body curled among the roots of something unlike I had ever seen before. <gasps> oh! I reach out and touch her neck. She has a pulse? <sighs> Sash, can you hear me? It's, it's me. It's Mika. <sighs> I'm gonna get you out of here. Her eyes briefly flutter open, the corner of her mouth tilting to a faint smile. Meek. It's okay. It's okay, Sash. I'm here. The fleeting smile gave way to a look of terror. Meek. I can't, I can't move my legs. Reality hit me like a ten-ton truck. Her leg was badly broken, maybe both. I could see something protruding from her shin, something that should be inside. I was focused on finding her. I hadn't considered a way out. It's it's okay, hon. Tax is coming. He's coming for us. He's he's gonna get us out. I don't don't wanna die here. Hey, stop that. That's not how this ends, you hear me? I didn't come all this way to give up on you now. I grasp at my radio. I knew my chances. We were miles underground and surrounded by dirt and rock. Nothing. Just the familiar sound of the radio chasing static across bands. Oh, fuck. Think, Mika. Think. Glancing around the room, I heard something. I felt the ringing pounding at the back of my skull. Answer the call? Ooh. Is this a choice? <sighs> yes. Thank you for calling Sherwood Estate Management. Please hold that one of our operators will be with you shortly. What? heart skipped as a lump formed in my throat. I don't know 
what to do. I don't understand any of this. It's okay, Mika. Other than mine here with you. I can help. You can't help me. I wish you could, but... That's where you are mistaken. Look around you, Mika. I look on in disbelief as the room transforms into something I struggle to put into words. Light dances in the air as the roots of this withered old tree grow like the beacons on my hover's runway. Whilst my words may be limited by this device that binds me, that does not mean I can't be the one to help you. It's beautiful. We are not that different. You and I, I too have suffered. Wishing to be free of these shackles. I don't understand. Is this... How are you doing this? You need not worry anymore, Mika. Tell your friend to follow my light. I will guide him. The line clicks to a dial tone. Oh, I don't understand. Please. Please hold while we forward your call. Your patience is appreciated. What is going on? I don't know whether to trust. Tax? Tax? Tax, is that really you? Wake up. Jesus fuck, are you seeing this? Place is lit up like a Christmas tree. Wait, 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 how are you calling me? Never mind that. Dax, you gotta help me. I found her. She's a here, but she, she's a hurt, but she's a here. Okay, okay, hold on. Tell me where you are. I don't know. It's a, like a cave of some kind. Must be less than a mile out from the city limits. Dax, I know how this sounds, but... You just need to follow the lights, okay? I, I took the westbound tunnel, like you said. But it was a wreck. The tracks caved into this huge cavern. That's where I found her. I found her, Tax. I got you. I'm at the tunnel entrance now. It was dark, but now it's clear as day. You think you can hold out for just a little while longer? <sighs> We haven't got much time. I don't trust this. I feel like they're either baiting tax or it's hear the click as Tax ends the call. Tax is here. He's coming. <gasps> He's safe now. No! Oh, good. My legs really hurt. No, Just no! try not to think about it. Oh, no, it was an illusion. Is she actually alive right now? A story. Well, I still think about that day we met. It was the coldest winter. First time I'd seen <gasps> Tax is there. We walked in wearing more layers than the city itself. Coats upon coats. We were packed that night. Always so swamped on Fridays after the lunch buckets clock out. I couldn't have said more than a few words to you. And yet, I couldn't keep my eyes off you. I always knew there was something special between us. Something 
something worth holding on to. Whatever happens, wherever we end up, I'll never let go. Is that what happened to Sasha too? Did is Tax gone now? Oh no. Wow. I shouldn't have picked up the phone. At that point, though, was there any way to save Mika? Or were we just dooming Tax? And there's the city. So Sasha wasn't alive anymore at that point, was she? Or was she and it was just that she was being... Oh, and there's Hollow Body. I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Um... <laughs> <laughs> particularly the moments where I wasn't dying that was great but um wow I kind of want to know now what happens if I didn't pick up the phone I feel like there had to be some sort of variation though on that ending just maybe with tax not having um like shown up at the very end because I don't know how we would have gotten out unless we had followed the lights. Oh, wait, is it is it one of those things where we had to choose whether or not we were going to uh, continue to mourn Sasha and her memory or choose to leave her behind? Because I think at that point she had been there for two weeks. In fact, I don't even know logistically. I, I feel like that pretty much confirms to me that it was an illusion. Because I guess they had food and water there, but... I don't know. I think Sasha was beyond saving at that point by the time that Mika had gotten there. <laughs> it's a cute dog. Um, but I really, really enjoyed that. It definitely had all of the kind of nostalgic vibes and the story was interesting to me. I've kind of been waiting for a hive mind sci-fi game just because I tend to really like that idea. I also think it's interesting because I thought maybe Tax was being impersonated in that last phone call, but also maybe the hive mind is actually something that is being fostered by Sherwood. Because at the very end it said Sherwood states uh, let me redirect your call and everything, but maybe that's just because they're the big company that controls, like, everything in this world, um, at that point. But I did, I did really like it. I thought it was very fun. We're gonna get a post credit scene? We are! <gasps> no way! Ben! Oh, he's trying to save us. And there's tax too. Is there hope? We don't see any movement. Okay, that's enough for me to, to for me to have hope though. Riven, obtain the Riven ending or Riven. Game result uh, ending intended. 
Walkie talkie find all lost signals. Oh, I did. Okay. The achievements are rolling in now. Shots fired, 109. Health items used. Um, does it tell me how many times I died? I saved 11 times. And I'm under the water right now. Dungeon crawl mode. First person has been unlocked for a new game. Big head mode has been unlocked for a new game. Punished difficulty has been unlocked. I'm not sure that I'm, that I want to... Uh, punish myself with this, but. <laughs> Undisclosed location. <gasps> Is that Mika? Two days later? Is that Mika? <gasps> Was the boy Sherwood all along? Okay. Is that why you're talking so slow? <laughs> Whoa. So we lived. So we lived in that ending. Ben ended up hel helping save us. I know his name's not Ben. I know he never gave us his name. Um, ooh, should I go back and continue though and see what happens if I don't answer the phone call? Because I think that there's different endings. At the very least, that's something I can do. So let me let me go back. All right, we have a phone call, and this time we're not answering. <gasps> You're forcing my hand, dude. Is it gonna be any different though? Thank you for calling, Sherwood. I don't think so. Management. Damn, Please, okay. With that, I am going to leave this playthrough here. I had such a good time with this game. I feel like it was very fun, and I'm glad I gave myself a little bit of a challenge by doing the intended run-through at the very start, because even though it was frustrating, just I was frustrated with myself whenever I died, I still feel like it kept the tension up a lot, and it also kept me moving, because I do tend to try and find things. I found all of the radio signals, but I didn't, I don't think I found all of the little documents and everything. So I did do my best to be thorough, and I feel pretty good about the ending that we got. Good is a weird word, because I'm not sure that Sasha made it, though I don't know if there's gonna be any ending where we can actually end up saving her. And on top of that, Mika is alive, and it kind of opens up, I don't know, ideas for lore with Sherwood and that company. I think if I had find or if I had found every single one of the documents and every like scoped every area of this game, then I probably could put together a really convincing theory for you guys. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Enjoy the fact that we finished Hollow Body uh, and we got one of the endings. I'm glad that we saved Ben, too, who I keep calling Ben, because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I feel good about that. He ended up being nice. I wasn't sure if I could trust him yet. I'm still not sure, though, because he, he was injured, but was he injured and infected? Like, is he going to become a zombie? I don't know. That's left up for mystery, like a couple other things. So if you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye!